people are going to call it fake. It's going to if if it's it's not fake, but it's utterly ridiculous. It also might play out terribly tonight, and there is no return. Yeah, we'll see. Are you ready? Uh, before we get in the episode, I'm just prefacing that this is kind of like a Frankenstein of an episode. I, like, as I'm, I'm editing, I'm just kind of realizing there's no, like, transitions in between any of the segments, so bear with me on it. It starts with, um, like, us picking our Secret Santas, which we filmed yesterday, and then it goes into Hank coming on talking about Rico, and then it gets into, like, a little bit more of a normal episode, but just bear with us here. Um... It's all good stuff. And yeah, also like and subscribe, please. Thank you. All right. We got the KFC Radio Secret Santa uh, with the whole gang. Um, the deal is, though, you pick your person like every other Secret Santa. But then there is a pay scale, meaning that uh, one person. <laughs> it's funny that this inherently means I don't really like you guys and I want to buy you something cheap. <laughs> I hope that I get the $5. Oh, see, I want the five hundred. You want the five hundred dollars. Well, I think there's some people here who don't want the five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I I very badly want the five hundred plus, and I very badly want a specific person because I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> like if there are, if there is a god, actually, it really doesn't even mean matter if it's a specific person. It's like two people. <laughs> Interesting. See, that's it. I don't know really what mm. you're talking about. I mean, I, I obviously want to mortify Jackie somehow. <laughs> That's what we all want to do. Um, what, what do you want? Huh? Who do you? I'm not telling what I want. Well, you're not going to get I, it. I, I either want. I, how do we know that? I, I want to get e e one of you two idiots. Like, these are three normal people. It's the idiots that I <laughs> want to get to work with here. You know? It's like, yeah. I don't know. Pavs, I'll get I, them, I, like, I tell you, I, 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 want, I want the $500 okay. for sure, and I don't want it to be you. Okay. All right, so we'll pick a person, and then you pick either your your present is from zero to five, five to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to fifty, fifty to one hundred, or five hundred plus. I think I'm gonna get it. I, I kind of feel like you are too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Do you want to start it off? Sure. What this happens is if like five hundred dollars is like half my bank account? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't want to get it. <laughs> All right. This is Answer what this that is that I, off. To ask <laughs> I did. This is the person. Nah, no, I think this is a price. I didn't get what I wanted. Nah. <laughs> that might have been a good poker face. <laughs> this fat fingered idiot. It's no, it's just, it's, we fucking use post it notes. Oh. Like, they stick together. That's insanely <laughs> stupid. That is an insanely <laughs> stupid thing to do. What's that face? It's just a letter. It's just a letter. And there's two of us with this letter. <laughs> God well, damn it, well, Jackie. Well, John or Jackie. Oh. No, 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 you use F. Is, J is J is Jackie. You, she used F for you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you do it. Because now God that's the video. Damn. Now nobody gives a fuck about the secret Santa. Why would you not just write the names? <laughs> what are you taking so much time for? <laughs> I, I you were trying so we hard. You only needed one letter. No, what? clearly you don't. <laughs> I thought that you people would figure it out. You're F, dude. You're F. <laughs> so you're, it's your first name, but his last name? Well, yeah, but he mostly goes by fight. What, what if it was C? Not in my own goddamn head, I don't. What, if, what <laughs> if it was C for Colleen or C for Clancy? Well, you would know that you would go by C. It's just like I, use your brain a little bit. No one I in the world has ever called me. Bro, C. use your brain a little bit and write full words. What was the rush? It takes. It takes. <laughs> it, it was a thick marker and a like, small, small sticky like, note. Just write the like it's two extra letters. Word. It's J O H N. It's I three know, extra but, letters. But what happens when I get to Colleen? That's like what? twenty letters. Oh, that bro, was stressing I mean, me out. This is insane. That was stressing <laughs> me out. You're, you're acting. This is crazy. <laughs> that you're trying you to defend. You should absolutely have known that J is me. 
Wow! No what? way, bro! What's my There's name? There's two people. How so are you telling me right now? I'm saying, <laughs> and like everyone right, knows, what? I have your wet second. But, but you, you should be able to use contest clues to think. Okay, Jackie's not that much of an idiot. Where she's yes, you oh, are. My God, no, that's never a contest. The context oh, clues but not always so much direct. Good to you. I'm not good at you. Context you, clues always point towards you being an idiot. <laughs> I know. The context is that you're always dumb. When in in the history of the world, when do people say, "Let's do the Secret Santa," and remember, only use one letter to determine who the people are <laughs> and and, oh, and by the way mix and match first and last names with that letter yeah. <laughs> obviously I'm not gonna do two J's like like if you thought about That's it for, not if you thought about it for a second more more sorry more than like you would have been able to figure out I that, thought like, about that for me. a full five and seconds so, you before even so you're saying that I didn't get the $500 huh you didn't get $500 I don't know who knows what I got well can we just say it all out loud now <laughs> fine, fine. I'll g I'll give away Jackie's present right now. Jackie, I got you and I got five hundred dollars. You're getting a one way round trip ticket to Omaha. You have to have lunch and come back. No. <laughs> Did you actually get the five hundred? Did you actually get the yes. five hundred? I knew it was a poker. <laughs> I knew it was a poker face. <laughs> I knew it was a poker face. Five hundred. You gotta eat that meat, girl. Jackie, you gotta go okay. get some meat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> Omaha, oh, baby. baby. If not, I think of a better place. But you're going somewhere. You have an 8 a.m. flight. You will be returning at 7 p.m. And you'll be fucking going to a museum and eating lunch in that city. And it's not going to be a good one. <laughs> Was I the other person who wanted to do that? Oh, well, I would have been you. It would have been one of you two. <laughs> I, I love Jackie being like, oh, I didn't get the $500. Well, you did. You did get it, and it's the worst thing possible. You know what you, know you could have gotten? For, you could have gotten, like, a lollipop. And instead, you got to go to Omaha. <laughs> I got to be honest. Can we send you, like, tomorrow? <laughs> and then, like, we, 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 we should either, we should, we should maybe even let this be uh, uh, open, uh, let the fans decide. There's got to be some people out there who have some really what like bad idea. Go yeah, to yeah. <laughs> We're gonna send Jackie to Bratislava. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> I don't think we even do a Secret Santa. I think this is just called. I think this is just called Jackie goes. You know, where in the world is Jackie? Or, or should I say Jay? <laughs> where are we sending Jay? See you now. Now. Nobody's ever called you Jay once. <laughs> what a. Botch job! <laughs> we got a botch job! <laughs> Fuck you, Al. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll see. Yeah, the rest of this is just us picking just, stuff yeah. out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you use sticky notes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I think I got myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you transcribed it. You literally transcribed it. I was running through, I'm spelling everyone's name. Mike. Nick. So great. Wait, I got to get myself a $10 gift. The most botched secret Santa of all time! <laughs> Ever! Ever! <laughs> this is now just you're going to Omaha. Good night. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute moron. That was perfect. <laughs> that, was, that was absolutely perfect. <laughs> I know what I'm getting. I know what I'm getting. <laughs> off tilt. I got myself. <laughs> <laughs> so just hold off. Wait, don't put it back in. Just I got myself again. I picked up the wrong That is. God, we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you guys heal the next time. Oh, she got herself. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the biggest shit show ever! I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> Impossible. Yeah. Impossible. I got a high price, boy. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, All right. so that's the KC Radio secret goddamn Santa. It's another edition to KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. Today's episode brought to you by Whistlepig. You know the name.
We got all of our whiskey right here. We got the, the regular six, uh, six year piggyback. We also got the KFC Radio 10 year anniversary edition. It's smoky, it's spicy, and it's created by these guys right here. We're pretty much experts in rye at this point, man. Uh, so you can go get yourself a bottle at your local liquor store if they have it, or you can go to the website and uh, go to whistlepigwhiskey.com, or if you're watching YouTube, click the link below. You can order this. It's the perfect holiday gift. I can't wait to get home and have like a hot toddy with it, just to sit by the fire, Christmas tree, open presents with it. A little maple, I mean, fa- maple syrup, old fashioned. If you haven't, if you haven't had this, this in a while, someone I retweeted someone yesterday who was just showing the clip from. Uh, Breaking Bad. It is a premier whiskey who partnered up with us. If you like us, please support us and support Whistlepig because it is very important. It's a very important relationship for us. And it's also, it is like, it is an incredible whiskey. You know, it's, you, like, it's and, not and a what, hard it's cool thing to make a gift. Like, you can get get this, get the bottle, and it's oh, almost like a smart, boom, smart. here you go. You know, yeah. I'm sure they've got other, other like little accessories and stuff like that on their website. The perfect gift. Yeah. It's a great whiskey, and guys aren't hard to shop for. Get it for your dad, get it for your brother, get it for your boyfriend. Boom. Whether you like KFC Radio or you like the whiskey, doesn't matter. Whistlepigwhiskey.com or click the link below on our YouTube. All right. Rumors have been swirling all week. Do we know if it's confirmed? No. So that's, okay. first of all, sorry about my voice uh, to the listeners, but. And easy back in the how, building. How did this happen? Uh, just had a late night. So it was kind of weird. I had, you know, just a late night Friday. Well, it all it all actually ties back to Rico, kind of. <laughs> all roads. This, this is talking about Rico. All roads so lead back to riding. After the Pick'em came out, after my last appearance on this show, Rico, I'm going to drive into Providence for Rough and Rowdy. Rico texts me. He's like, hey, can we talk? I have some like I, I thought it was gonna be like hey can we talk we only talked briefly in the office I kind of just want to like clear the air and go over stuff I had a three hour drive it was just me I was like and he's like get on the phone he's like I just have some a couple of things I want to run by you and I was like what mm-hmm. and he starts we st- and I was like Rico I have three hours like let's get into it <laughs> <laughs> and I was like you know when you're driving and talking on your car speakerphone you're kind of like yelling yeah yeah which yeah. is so weird why do we feel the need to do that like, I don't, I don't know. think you need to do that at all I think you can just talk. So in the conversation, you know, we started talking for 20 minutes. I'm like, Rico, like, are you co-? like, I could tell, like, he was kind of like, it's not over. And like, you know, what if I, he was throwing out like scenarios where he came back. I was like, Rico, what are we talking about here? And he's like, he's like, I'm not taking that job. I was like, I'm not taking that job. And I was like, I started screaming, <laughs> started fucking screaming at him and then spent the next like hour. So I was like talking, I was talking scream screaming talking, talking, talking for like an screaming. hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we broke down the, I was like, Rico, and we went through it like piece by piece. I was like, Rico, when they say this, like, do you agree with it or disagree? He's like, well, I was like, you have to just fucking accept it. Like, you have to accept yeah, it. Yeah. You're coming back. Everything's got to change. Like, and so I was like, bluntly honest and like, frankly, just like mean, not like mean, but I was yeah, like, Yeah, sometimes like, you need to do that though, yeah. If it's never going to work, you literally have to change every single thing if About you're going to come you. back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, you're, you know, I, and there was, I wish, I wish it was recorded because there was, there was some great analogies thrown out by me. There was, it was just very, <laughs> very, very funny. He was just all over the place. But then I went out after Rough and Rowdy and like lost my voice. But I oh, think yeah. the like th- two hours of like yeah. scream talking, like I don't, it was how, like, So how long has it been? It's been, that's like That was Friday. Days. He also talked to Big Cat Friday. And then no, I think. No, your voice. Oh, so I so. lost it Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday I was healthy with no voice yeah monday tuesday i got super sick once the doctor got some like antibiotics i'm back now but like i know it i, I tweeted i know a guy who lost his voice forever lost his voice one day <laughs> never came back he said he had poly he went in and they had some sort of polyps and they were like the surgery is very dangerous and the only side effect is your voice so we don't do it and you just gotta he, it was like we can do it but you'll have to come back every like few months to keep doing it Jeez. or you can just start to live with it and like uh, now, huh? Yeah, I mean, this isn't as bad. It's a little raspy. I, actually, <laughs> I love it when it gets yeah, like it was, that. It was, it was like bad. That. Yeah, it was bad for like yeah. a, it was the first two days. It was like, it's terrible I was, I was if you're... Game, fellas? Yeah, was like, if you want to be in a bar, too, and you're trying to talk or it's loud, it's awful. But if you're, you know, one-on-one, that rasp, yeah. people love that. Sexy, it sexy. just makes talking not... Like, you see people, you're just like, I don't want to talk. Yeah, because <laughs> when you are yelling, you're, like, exhausted. But I, that, so. I learned that when we were doing our little road trip out on the West Coast, and I lost my voice night one in Denver. And, fucking flu games, man. And, he was. I was like, uh, we're, we're gonna have to cancel the show. Like, he cannot talk. I I texted Mark Roberts and I was like, Yo, what do you do to save your voice on the road? Because like, yeah, he's an artist. He's a, he's a front man, musician for of Revolution. And uh, he's like, All right, here's what you're gonna need. He's like, First step, stop drinking. 
Second step, stop smoking. Third step, stop talking. Fourth step, you're going to lay in bed just on your back all day. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm not going to do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, mean, I mean, do you have, like, a magic cure? Like, eat tuna fish because it works. <laughs> and, and he's bullshit. like, yeah, I got a doctor who, who in L.A. because we were in L.A. at this point. So I got a doctor in L.A. He'll, he'll inject you with steroids. And I was like, okay. all right, well, not that either. <laughs> like, there's something over the counter I can do to help me get my voice Gargle back. Gargle with, and like, And it salt turns out that there's nothing. Yeah. And, but, all, but I was trying to save my – the reason I bring it up, I was trying to save my voice. And I realized I can't. Like I, I was like, I was like, we're just not gonna talk during the day. Yeah, and then I someone says something, you're like, what are you a fucking idiot? Yeah, yeah. What are you stupid? But I don't know if you had some fucking uh, some vocal cords like in reserve or something. But like the the show started and it was just like you just went back to talking and and, until ended, until and you went back. To, yeah. you know, the um, last ten minutes of the show would always be like, <laughs> true show. I, I think I think yes. one one time you were like, you're like, all right, let's probably just end the show. <laughs> I think that was in I Phoenix. I can't talk anymore. But. <laughs> anyway, it's been. A mere two episodes, not even, yeah, two episodes, or one episode. One episode. One episode since Hank came on here as the original rider and basically said goodbye to Rico, and it turns out that your original gut feeling, you said se- 10 days, 7 days? 7 days. And I, th- yeah, I think you won. I mean, you what you said I thought was ridiculous. You kind of came around on it too. You are like, yeah, I think this one's silly. I think this is the real deal this time. Should have gone with your gut. Yeah, like, it, it was... It was a matter of days before I got word that, you know, at least rumors, that Rico Bosco's coming back. And it was really one day. It was like the pick came up <laughs> Thursday, and then Friday is when he called me. And that's like, it was, I, I started like laughing at him. Like, I started laughing. And he was like, why are you laughing? I'm like, Rico, like, why you realize how fucking stupid you are. Like, it's... You, you know have how put the people biggest are going to think this is so mag- fake. Well, I, 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 I was going to speak I was going to think people. it's fake. I, I am going to speak you. for... because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a writer. I'm I not a non-writer. Yeah. I've had about six months of... <laughs> you got a bigger side? <laughs> I'm Switzerland, baby. Um, I'm not a, I'm not, not a writer. I just, uh, me and Rico had our issues, although I don't I don't think I've ever had an issue, but we Rico's had you his issues. You squashed him, no? Friday Night Pints and whatnot? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh no, no, no. That was, uh, that's what I was going to say in our last episode, but I said, I was like, I'm a company man. I'm not saying anything yeah, because yeah. we had received an email saying, don't talk about Rico. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, I'm not doing shit. Right. Um, but now Rico's back. Now I can talk about him. <laughs> and I, I had very much enjoyed our six months, where maybe even a little longer than six months, yeah. where we were like, you know, Rico and I were never hanging out, but passage in the hallway, like, whatever, yeah, Rico, a little pound, and, yeah, right? Yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. It's been very pleasant. Um, but so I'm a bit of an outside observer here because mm-hmm. I'm not the number one rider in the world. You and Rico are very tight. I'm just, you know, I'm a guy passing the hallway, says, what's up? Mm-hmm. We're very, very cool. Um, from some, from where I sit, it, I, I understand everyone being like, that's, it's a work. I completely get that. Mm-hmm. And I would combat that by saying, Rico went so far as to pull me aside. And tell me he was leaving and explain our beef to me. Mm-hmm. Where he was like, here's like, you know, like basically just laying out why he had issues. And, and I understand all of them. And we had kind of like our final burying of the hatchet mm-hmm. and squashing of the beef and all the other things they use in the Sunny episode. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, I was like, this is real. Because like, it was like. He probably went around to like me, you, like everybody to make sure. I, I think he didn't mean to take me aside. I think he yeah, came he, in here looking for you. And then he and then, you. And then he's he goes, like, I'll do you next. He's like, I'll do you next. <laughs> <laughs> and so like him and Kevin wrapped up. And he's like, all right, fine. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> and so we go just in the hallway by the bathrooms over here. And it was a very nice conversation. Uh, I don't know. I'd say five, ten minutes, seven minutes. And uh, we talked a little bit of our past, a little bit of the future, what was going to happen. And it was very nice, but it was it was again as someone who's Switzerland here, it was incredibly sincere. Mm-hmm. He was like, "I'm out. I can't do this anymore." Mm-hmm. It was it was weighing on him. He was explaining the ways it was weighing on him and and things he's put up with, and it was all very sincere. So I do not think this was a work. I am gonna I mean, if, well, I, if also, I was a judge, I'm Dave also incapable. Dave is incapable. Dave and Dan of would making. never. Maybe right, Dan, right, right. Dave would never engage in an act like this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. He and when made, he, this is dumb. If he does, it. he's the worst. Like it's so obvious. Obvious, like, he's like the worst. Beyond oh man, you remember that of, on, on of, the on the blackout uh, the NLCS bus? You were we were trying to film like some sort of kind of made up thing, and Dave, like Hank would film it, and Dave, all of us were bad, but like you know Dave would say something, and Hank would be like. Um, or, all right, let's let's do let's do take two. <laughs> let's do that again, <laughs> dude. We did that once with uh, with Pirate Simon. I forget I forget what exactly happened, but it was the day, like it, it was the <laughs> the day 
where he had, where he'd been busted. He's yeah. the porn guy. Was like, it like the end? It, it was, was like the a very six end. hour interrogation. It was like Dave was going back upstairs and someone said something and we all fucking erupted. <laughs> and it was like, it was like no one had a camera. I was like, we gotta try that again. We gotta yeah. try it again. And it was just like we got like fun. halfway through the take. It was like this isn't gonna work. Yeah, we're, <laughs> not, we're not. I think we're getting better at it, doing like real comedy, but we're not like scripted people at all. Especially but not so, Dave. But I, I no, yeah. fully. Well, so that that's the other thing. Like last time, it was it was ninety five percent gone, five percent coming back. This is before we're recording the Pick'em. Re- I still think it's it's now not ninety five back, five percent not. It's like more like. 75% back, 25% not. Like, I don't really know how it's going to go tonight. Yeah, like, like, I don't think like, he's get Dave offered? and Big Head are like pissed off. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. and I think Dave's going to like, I again, I don't know. Do you think Dave's going to give him like a, a, speaking of Pirate Simon, a Pirate Simon type punishment? Which, like, I, yes. if you want to come back, yeah, he'll you, have come to, back you have to live on the bus and dress like a pirate for a year. Many stipulations. And possibly like less money, which I'm sure will drive Rico crazy. crazy. But like, I don't think it's like, it's like the offer last week isn't the offer this oh, week. Oh, hell no. Yesterday's right? price is not today's <laughs> price. Not especially not after you pull, you know, whatever stunt, whether you were making up an offer, whether you were using an offer for leverage, whether you just were stupid and changed your mind, you you lost you, you never really had the upper hand, <laughs> but you have no hand now. Uh so like he could probably be like, Yeah, you get, you know, last year's salary. And you still and you no still have to bump, do twelve yeah, blogs, like, blogs a week or whatever. Because he was saying at Rough Friday, he was like, "I found out like because it, it was like eight percent, I think." And that's the thing. And Rico was like mad about it. We like offered eight percent raise. Is, you know, I know. And he's like, New York sure, Times blah, is on. Blah, like, New York like, Times is on strike for three percent. Right, eight percent is not. It's not great, but it's not nothing. You know no. what I mean? So, uh, I'm just trying to do math in my head. <laughs> it's just, I don't even know what the numbers <laughs> would be, but it's just like you know. Usually, I think they used to say like three percent is what is usual inflation in America. And so if you get a 3% raise, that's your, your company just, like, keeping up with standard. Yeah. And this Now things are different with inflation. But also, like, I don't know. Nobody else in the company is calculating their inflation and shit. And, that, yeah. and that's not to say that Rico or anybody shouldn't, but it's just like, we don't, we don't do that here. It's like, yeah. you do a good job, you get a raise. If you're doing a middle of a job, you, get, you stay put. Like, I don't know. It's kind of how it goes. Um, I... I wonder... Like, was it a change of heart or was it like, a, all right, I'm, I give up my bluff. Like, you call it my bluff. Because I, I wonder that myself. That's, that's, that's going to be the question. The latter. Yeah. If, I, it's, if it's the latter, fucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah because, <laughs> that is, it, it's, that it's, is ballsy, it's bro. It's Costanza, man. It's Costanza <laughs> driving to the Hamptons. He, he took that, I, I have another job. For the record, the I took way. my hat off. If you're listening yeah. to this, <laughs> it, it is a a ballsy move to be like, I've got this job, I've got this offer, and I'm going. And you're walking out the door, and you're like, This is it, seriously, <laughs> I'm going, guys. I need it this just, time. Just in case you want, I went so far as to say goodbye to fights. Okay? <laughs> That's how real this is. <laughs> and then open that door and walk through it, and you just kind of sit there, and you're like waiting for the door to open, like Rico, come back, we miss you, and it just doesn't happen. And then you gotta walk back to that door and be like, "Okay, never mind." Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I will be honest. I don't think I could do that. I, even if it was like, "This is this is like the best thing for you and because your family. you don't have the, I, I, the, I have, tone, the stones. I, I no, no. Or, I mean, I, the, I have too much pride the other way. Like I could never, I could never tuck tail that extreme and come back. Oh, oh, but you're you saying, also you would never come back. But you, do but right. you would ha, offer had I done situation. the, I don't, I definitely don't think I. Well, uh, no, I totally have the stones to. To walk away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I ever tell you I'm leaving, I'm definitely Bro, leaving, guys. I've been here 12 years. I haven't had the stones to negotiate yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me started on walking away. I haven't, I haven't been like, well, how about we try this number? Like, you go, this is your number. Go, and Sounds good. It. See you later. I think if I if I had a real offer, <laughs> I could I could play it, you know. But if I didn't have any, if it's totally a made up thing, to take it as far as like, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> And hope that, like, Dave's going to call you or something, you know. Maybe, what if, you know, we always say that, like, Rico. This is another one that's going to be, like, fascinatingly interesting to listen back to tomorrow. Because, like, I don't know how the, I don't know how everything's going to play out. Right. I, I, hopefully that answer comes out, whether or not he had the offer for real and didn't take it. Or never had the offer and was What do you to- think's worse? I think I think, I think, not, I think making it up and trying to play them looks way like worse. you're being manipulative, right? Way, way worse. I think that, but what if this I, is, I would think Dave would not 
like take that. very kindly to that. Right. I think no. that would be that but, would. But we be are in a hard, different world with Rico. Uh, sanctions. There would be some harsh yeah. sanctions placed yeah. if that's what is the reality. Because that also opens up a door of like, I mean, if it worked, it'd be a different story. That's that's actually like if if it if he got a raise and then found out that it was fake, you know, part of you is like, I don't know, tip your cap. That was a good bluff. Part of it's like, I cannot have a company thinking that they can all fucking do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I, what if, and this might be giving him too much credit, but we talk about how Rico basically has a job for life, contract for life. He's got a poppy deal. And this One is, year every year. Which might not exist. That's that's where it's like he's, not, he's on but, ground zero now. But what if, like, he's like... I, yeah, like I know that would take me back because that's going to be we're going to do a negotiation live on Pick'em next week and they're going to love the content. So I'm going to take it all the way to the end because I know at the end of the day they'll always take me back. I just is, don't is, his is he, attitude. Is he savvy and ballsy enough to play that. Like they always they want the Rico show, so I'm going to give him the full Rico show. I think he's definitely like a masochist in that way where he does as much as he like hates it, also loves the attention on himself like subliminally like yeah, I, don't yeah, think he he, I don't think he can realize how much he loves it i just his attitude was like it was like he hired an agent and shit and i didn't know about the agent but like if you if you back up the timeline when it's like this is when he hired the agent and when his attitude drastically changed and he did become like a lot more mopey and like didn't really have the energy mm -hmm. for the pick em, and like yeah, the pick em was just like constantly ears. like mm -hmm. trying to get it out of him and he just wasn't wasn't giving anything wasn't really coming to work that would line up with like him getting, you know, realizing he's leaving at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So that, which sucks, because it's like it'd be better if he was like, I'm just gonna, you know, make it a make it a big show and then like come back and stuff. I would, I, would, I would prefer that way, but like all the evidence points to him like being like, oh, this is my last year. I'm just gonna like go through the motions and like mm -hmm. be out of here. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy that he then flipped in one night. <laughs> that's, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. But then you gotta like do it. You gotta be like, all right, I have one more year. My agent has told me what number I should be making and here are the companies that he told me I can get it from. I'm going to go do that. And on the way out, I'll ask Barstool to match it or whatever. They didn't. Okay. But clearly he I was, was he had... screaming at him. <laughs> like, what the fuck were you thinking? He's like, I thought I wanted more money. I was like, then why didn't you take it? He's like, I, yeah. I don't know. I just like, I just realized like, I'll, you know, I'll never be happy. Like he said some things that were like, all right, you know, that's, that's a step in the right direction, but it's like, the other analogy I, I gave him where I was, I was basically, you're climbing up a mountain, like ice climbing up a mountain, and then there's employees below you that you, like, look down upon, like, f figuratively and, like, in your real life, you actually, like, look down on people that you think are below you, which is crazy, mm -hmm. but he's always been like that where he thinks, like, yeah. if you're not, you know, totally, totally. if you don't, are up to his standards, he can just look down on you and... and Bemoan you or whatever. Yeah. He was saying like I, mean, I, I like I I know what he's talking about, but he's like he's like you know when you just want to play in the bigs, and he thought I was preventing. That's what the beef was. He thought I was preventing that, which gives way too much credit for the sway I have with this company. <laughs> um, but and I was like I was like I don't even know who. The, I mean obviously I know who it is, but like I would never be like that's the, the different league than this people. Like, I, I know yeah. who he's referring to, yeah. but I think we yeah, all yeah. work at the same company. Sure, it is sure. One, one group of people. I was like you, then like literally fell all the way to the bottom in the most like you know catastrophic way possible that everyone in the world now you have a giant magnifying glass on you like bigger than you ever could have possibly imagined like you put the biggest magnifying glass and you coming back and like you're at the bottom so like all the people that were below you are now, are now like, above you and like you. you have to have the attitude of like i'm at the bottom mm -hmm. this is day zero I'm just gonna put Stop my head down fresh. and work. Yeah. Like the, yeah, all of the everything that you built up, like three presidencies, nine years, like that's all gone. Like it's day yeah. zero. The only way this works long term is if you just put your head down for a year. And if you don't, it's not gonna this work. Is why, like man. that's why I was like, you, you don't have any wiggle room. You've lost all the wiggle room you had. Yes. Like, fucking doing this, like I'm leaving shit. Yeah, which is all on you. Yeah, it was all like self inflicted. Because people are yeah, it's gonna piss me off. And I was like, this is fake. You guys are just have. It's like I don't like. I mean, I have nothing to do with it anyway, like, but I'm the one rider, but it's like, I don't, you know, I want, if he's, I, it's just like, I'm sick. It's like, I want him to just like put his head down and like, and just do not it. be yeah. a fucking a, a diva. But no, you don't. You don't want Rico to just be a quiet employee. You want <laughs> I, him to be I Rico. I want him to, I want him to survive. Yeah, I'm worried yeah, about yeah. his and survival. Actually, we and I don't the think it's the number four blogger. So like, I don't even get why he won't do it. It's like, you're good at this and you're shining. Do it, I think you that's, know? that's it. But that, the but, other analogy I gave him, which I, I'm curious to hear your guys' inputs, so I was like, Rico, like, 
look at it like what you don't understand because he's always talks about resources. He always talks about like yeah. I need a camera guy. I need this. I'm like, dude, like Kevin, Dan, Dave didn't have any resources, any camera guys. They built up their personalities through the blog for like five years. Yeah, like that's how they got to the point, and then they started producers. having shows, and they started having producers. Like you don't like you should look at it the same way, and you don't have to do five years. Do one year. Of just blogging. Like, Bro, look at yourself as a blogger first, and then all that shit will come. Also, that excuse uh, used to carry a lot more weight, like, several years ago. You know how many fucking superstars are on the internet right now that yeah. don't work for a media company? <laughs> they don't have any of this. They have their phone and their dance routine or their jokes or their whatever, you know? So that doesn't even fly anymore. You can be mad that other people have resources at the company and you don't, but it's not an excuse to why you're not at a certain level, you know? Um, and, you know, there are plenty... Bob, Bob Fox hasn't had a producer ever. Bob Fox does all his own shit on all his shows. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. And, you know, he's not happy about it, but he also doesn't fucking whine every 25 seconds about it. And, you know... I, I, I also think, I think what you're asking is, like, I think the blog is... We've said this countless times. No one seems to listen or care. I, I mean, I'll, I'll be straight up. Like, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll say it with you guys. I've, I've said it privately. There are some fucking... <laughs> I've I've read like I actually like if like, like I'm not gonna name names, dude. Bad blogs. Dude, there are some fucking piss poor dog shit blogs. Yeah. Like y dog shit blogs. What I get even now. more upset about is I will um like dude I I read one the other day, like I, I texted well, like I don't really do a lot of like the gossip type thing. I texted one people, I was like, What the fuck what is this doing this? on this? Not only because it was I clicked it from Twitter and I was like, Oh, I'm interested in this story. Yeah. And I clicked it and I was like I read it. Like my, my jaw was agape. I was, I was like, you have to be fucking kidding me. It was, dude, it was fucking awesome. Like, it was, it was uninteresting. Say the name and we'll bleep it. No. We'll bleep it. No. No, I don't, no, you'll bleep it. It was fucking. <laughs> it was, it was atrocious. <laughs> like, it was, it was a flabbergasting angle to take. It was, it wasn't, it was, like, people on the website don't even take angles. They're not trying to be funny right, anymore. Right, right. It's just like, here's yeah, the story, here's a story and let happens. me regurgitate and what the actual that's news is. the problem said. is that we used it to build a character. We all did, you know? It's like, I had the cubicle stuff, because I was talking about corporate life, and Dan's doing touching fucking stingrays and shit, mm -hmm. not just, I mean, sometimes you just regurgitate, like, you're just like, here's a story. No, I don't think I take. ever regurgitated a story. No, no, I at least I, tried I, to make it funny. Right. That, I mean, sometimes you just here's a story and you do it, not like I, I, no, let me think about like, my here's a funny video. Character. This is why it's funny. Don't right, get me right. wrong. Or here's how I relate to it. Sure. Don't get me wrong. I've failed at being funny sure. a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every time I was at least fucking trying. I, I'm just saying that it, there were also times like it, I would write a story about donuts. I would write a story about New York, like things that were mm. you, and then fans come to know that about you, so they send those to you, and you have a persona. It's it's uh, the biggest like resource like we've got. If you know how many people would kill if you just had here's the keys to a fucking blog that I don't even know how many hundreds of thousands of people read it still. Dude, you you said to me, a, I was like, Rico. you can post a, post a picture of your fucking anal glands, and it's gonna get at least fifty thousand. Right, and anal glands will get you fucking <laughs> big numbers, <laughs> like, bro. Like you can put whatever the fuck you want. You're gonna at least fifty thousand or a hundred thousand eyes on it. Yeah, and, and, he, and he was yeah, like, people just don't do it. He's like, does it still you know move the needle? I was like, dude, like. I don't know, realize like we've grown a lot. Like the page views that were happening in fucking 2013, it's like ten times more right, now. It's just because of like people. SEO and like all that yeah. shit. Like you're the exposure they got, you can get times ten. Like totally. And if and that's why I was like, just do it for a year. Like put your head down for a year because awesome. he already started talking about other shows and shit. I'm like, dude, just like, like grab your or grab your phone. He hates blogging. Look, look at Jack, look at Jack with Jack Mac does with TikTok. Like he was never supposed to be a fucking uh, personality, and still He's no one turning does it. into one. And like. Uh, it's we'll streaming from the fucking rooftops. Just make a green screen video and nobody will do it. And then you complain and it's like, what the I fuck? I will. I'm going to defend that because I, this is turning into a completely different podcast. Than <laughs> I'm going to defend that just because, and, and I'll speak just for myself here. Uh, once, one, like, you have kind of cornered the market and then Jack Mac does it and other people do it. But, but like, no, but, and, I, and I, I get it. I get it why it is, it is illogical to feel this way, but it's like, I'm stealing their thing. It's it, just, it is illogical, but I it is know. just a, it is. But the it, it, it is it's the same thing as saying it, it's it's saying like stealing, doing a podcast is stealing podcasts. Yeah, it, it's, is, it would be the same thing as saying you write blogs. I can't write blogs. But it's it also a, is the video but, form of blog. The other day, my one minute man, uh, I don't remember which one it was. I listened to it back, and it was literally like 
I would have typed those words out on the fucking paragraph. Like, mm. bo joke for joke, word for word, cadence for cadence. I was like, that was a blog that I just spoke. And so it's just a new way to do that, you know? I mean, I appreciate it, you know? Thank you for fucking being like, that's your thing. But talking about topics into a phone is nobody's thing on the internet. That's No, I know, thing, but it, you know? It, 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 and also it just becomes... When too many people are doing it, you, I, then I it's just, watered down. I, I just you back. gotta have a good hook or whatever. Now yeah. you can't just be like, I, I'm lucky. Like I started it, so I can just do everything. Yeah. But everyone else should probably have like an angle. But you know, it's like also by the way, try like gotta try some shit. Mm. Try the green screen if it doesn't work. Try the blog. It did work. You should keep doing it. Try this. Try that. That's the way it works, you know. Uh, but I I also you know it's 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 a it's a very weird spot to be in when I, I think when Dan and Dave are like we could plug anyone in this show I don't know if that's true I, I don't I, think they said that I thought they, they, I thought they said the opposite and I he's thought, like kind of like the show won't be the big house kind of leaning that way of like oh we're gonna find someone in big house like or Dave was like it's never gonna be the same show that, that's the clip okay. I saw where Dave which is like, true. I, I think it was more like you know you don't make this show we do and like if you put anybody together with us this show will succeed like i think i don't think rico can take credit for the pick on being like a big show Correct. but i do think he can take credit for like it being that this, kind this of show the, yeah. yeah yeah and yeah. and that's where i can see him being like i am a pretty integral part of of the the gambling show with the two biggest gambling guys at the gambling company i think i should you know i should I he should also have some power and some negotiation, but he, I think he just misplays it. You know. He also the other funny analogy that he brought up with that though, and applies is funny because like the other big gambling show is Advisors, and the same situation with Stu, where it's like, you know, yeah. Stu is the star of the show, and he's kind of the draw right. in the same way that Rico's draw. Stu also doesn't get paid anything. Yes. So he's and like, Stu, I should be Stu's getting what Stu, I should be getting he, what he, Stu's getting, and, and, and Dave was like, what? <laughs> Stu runs into Dave's room. He told us he goes, "I want a million fucking dollars. I'm the star of that show." And he goes, "Stu, I could I could find another one of you like tomorrow." And he's like, "Okay, well, give me a little bit of a raise." And Dave's like, "Okay, how about like eighty thousand? He's like, "Okay, sounds good." <laughs> and that's how it should probably be with Rico. So I mean, it's like, it, it, anyway, this is all kind of the same conversation we have. But the return is just the fucking. The, I mean, people are gonna call it fake. It's gonna if if it's it's not fake, but it's utterly ridiculous. It also might. Play out terribly tonight, and there is no return. Yeah, we'll see that's, how. That's like so. The, what, like, do you know where? Like, what is this 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 time period that we're in? Like, I know because when Dave asked me to do the rundown today, I thought it was that. I was like, oh, there's gonna be like an emergency thing with Rico, and he was like, no, 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 this is just everything I missed. He was like, we can do a Rico segment if you want. So I was like, has he? Does he even know? Like, what's going on? Where are we at? Uh, my guess, I know they're not happy. Like, I know they're like yeah. both kind of pissed off. Just like in general, because I think the same thing where it's like everyone's gonna be like, this is fake, and like you guys are just yeah. doing this for a show, and it's like they're not. So I think it's gonna basically play out where Dave will probably have some absurd, uh, what thing. we call them sanctions. And then if Rico doesn't, like, I think Rico's just gonna have to take it. He ha has to take it. I don't but know. He's a, but he no, might no, no, not. No, no, no. That's, he, he that's the thing. Like, he has to. He has to, but I don't know if he will. Right. Because he right. is too proud. Mm. And it's going to be some shit like he has to wear a silly shirt or he has to, you know, go on a show with fucking, you know, Tico every day or whatever the fuck he comes up with. And he's going to be like, well, you know, I can't do that. I'm a man, you know. It's like, well, which are you tucking your tail or are you not? You know, it's day zero. That's what I keep telling. Day it's like, zero, dude, you're, you're, which is hard, like, who, man. Who, who you, can you who, shot yourself in the fucking? Who fuck. walks into a, a job on day zero and says, "I need this, isn't this?" Yeah. Like, you have nothing. You have no room to stand. It's on. it's very hard to truly like humble yourself in anything. Like if you you fuck up as an athlete or you know in your corporate job, you you get moved or whatever, and it's like you went from the top to the bottom. Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> it's it is not mm. a, an easy thing. You can you can say it, but to truly be like, you know, when some when if he comes back, and some you know lower level person is like clowning him or telling him what to do or whatever, he's got to genuinely be like, okay, yeah, like I get it. Yeah, and that's I mean the, all this. That's and he also was made like, a fuck ton of enemies. And we were going. Th I was going through like the, I was going through a laundry list. I was like, we're breaking this down point by point because I was like, I need like I was like, it doesn't matter whether you agree or not. Like you have to understand that like this is what your boss is, is saying. Yeah. You have to accept this as the reality and then like fix it. Similar to what I was saying last week or last time I was on when I was like <laughs> two minutes ago. I hated. We were talking about the whole thing. I was like, I hated being a fuck up. Mm -hmm. I knew that was my perception. Everyone thought I was a fuck up. Like dumb fuck up. Everything I did was gonna be a fuck up, and I hated it. That's why I was gonna leave. And then when I decided to come back, I was like, I need to change this. The only way you can change this is just by like showing it. Like there's nothing mm -hmm. you can say or do, or no matter what you think, 
like you have to just convince people otherwise and it takes a long ass time so, so i was like just do it for a year play nice with everyone don't think of yourself as a blogger and like in a year i'm sure you'll be in a better place and you'll see it but like it's not going to happen overnight and he doesn't think that way and like it, like the counting the counting money shit is is the one thing that like whenever you talk to me about that i would get pissed off I'm like dude you can't worry about other people like if you mm -hmm. worry about other people here you're gonna lose your mind like i don't I, give a do fuck understand what anyone else does or what anyone else makes like good for them yeah i'm just gonna try and do what i can do for myself that is the very mature and correct way to handle it but i also do understand this place is very chatty and numbers get leaked all the time and sometimes you're like wait fucking who makes what yeah. <laughs> you know it, it definitely gets a little bit like you know but I've had that talk with him like five times. You, so you yeah, can't do it. And, he, and every know, time he does it, sucks, and he it does it again, it I was like, Rico, like this is the thing. Like, you keep, like, that's this. If you're gonna come back, you have to just accept. accept like, it. I'm not gonna worry about. it. I'm not gonna yeah, worry about it. Yeah. Like, I've, we've had this talk five can, times. Though. It yeah, hasn't happened. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. We're having it again, and you yeah. keep saying like, I'm gonna change everything. But it's like, yeah, I've had this talk with you like six times. Like, why? Like, and it's like, don't even. Even if you worry about it, why are you bringing up with me? Because every time I'm like, dude, just stop. Like, I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck what anyone else makes. Like, yeah, good for them. You know what is? You just gotta worry about yourself. He has what you can't buy in a like a character and a persona and the energy like like if he did a video series where he just very like once a week like not very often because it, it can be overkill when he used to call Barcelona radio like fridays at 4:59 and be like we're going and he would be excited and the music plays and everyone was into it and, and, like he wants to do x's and o's and talk about college basketball it's like how about you be rico bosco mm -hmm. from staten island new york the firefighter who also has opinions on sports you'll be like you know tommy uh old school tommy or the, the the mozzarella cheese guy or any of these fucking characters you know there's plenty of people who don't have any character or any persona or anything and they're trying to make it you have one you're not using it yeah, I'm very interested to see how it goes. I just want I want to know whether there was a real offer or not, whether the, it was totally fake or – because on the one hand, it's He'll ballsy, and mad, I tip my cap. But... On the other hand, it's uh, very poorly executed, so it's like, well, you know, then you're dumb. That don't, you, I'll that, probably you, say it tonight, so I don't think it matters. He'll get mad at this, but I don't – I feel like – He didn't have an offer. But I don't think he had a – I don't think he had like a contract in front of him that he was could have signed. Right. I don't know. He probably had a conversation or two with someone who said like, "There's a spot for you over here if you want it." I, I, th yeah. If like, because I, I, I didn't hear. It's hard to imagine like you go again. Like, you industry. go through the whole song and dance of like, "I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving." I have this contract, whatever, double my salary, like, and then overnight, like he's not an overnight like. I made a mistake. I'm coming back. Yeah. That's just yeah. not his. That's yeah. just not how right, he is. Right. 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 We shall. So is the reason why this is all like we're up in the air is because you're waiting for Pick'em? Is that what's happening? We're doing Pick'em tonight. Tonight. Okay. So we'll have the answer tonight, basically? Yeah. yeah. I don't well, know. As yeah, you listen to this, we'll I'm sure. I don't know. I hope he does airs, reveal but... whether or not, you know, I hope he comes clean and is like. Is he, have you talked to him about coming tonight? I haven't talked to him since so like, Friday. Like, will you guys start the show and be like, he might walk through the door, he might not? No, he's coming tonight. Oh, okay. So we know that for sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Well. I mean, it's a little weird because by the time you're listening to this, this will have... You know, it's good, we'll it's a good answer. plug for but the But as of right yeah. now... Go yeah, listen. Yeah, hopefully go listen, hopefully listen to this out. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, we're at, at this point, we're going to have to have you on a third time. <laughs> <laughs> the Rico Chronicles has told the gospel according to Hank. <laughs> All, right, All right, go rest that voice, buddy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You know what's back? Omaha Steaks. Oh, Omaha Steaks is my favorite longest running sponsor ever in KFC Radio history. I got a freezer full of them right now. I mean, I it freezer is freezer full of steak. The, the we've been doing this every Father's Day, every Christmas, every every year. Omaha slides in and they up the ante with their offer cuz they got steaks and they got sides and they got desserts and it gets bigger and it gets Le uh, more affordable every single year. Right now, they're doing 50% off site wide. Uh, and when you. Wait a second. Wait a second. OmahaSteaks.com, 50% off. Use code KFC at checkout for an additional $40 off your order. 50% off, then 40 bucks off? I think that's what that's saying. They're going to pay you to take the steak. Let's, let me steak. read it one more time. Visit OmahaSteaks.com. Take advantage of 50% off site wide. That means earthing. Plus, use promo code KFC at checkout to get that extra forty dollars off your order. So, like, you could you could buy something that's 
two hundred bucks, get fifty percent off. It's a hundred dollars. Then you get forty dollars off. You're almost getting a two hundred dollar thing for almost fifty bucks. It's not, and we're talking filet mignons. We're talking uh, potatoes au gratin. We're talking uh, caramel apple tartlets. It's got the Omaha seasoning, so it's extra unique. Uh, we're doing uh, boneless chicken and and pork chops. They got the big burgers. They got the big jumbo franks. It's it's heaven in a box, and it's only going to cost you like fifty bucks when it's all said and done. Uh, so, and and the fact also they used to do like here's the order and here's everything we put in there. Four of this, three of that, two of this. If it's fifty percent site wide, you can just pick, mix and match a la carte, and have yourself the best, most customized order of steak delivered right to you when you go to omahasteaks.com. Use promo code KFC at checkout to get forty dollars off the already fifty percent off site wide. That's omahasteaks.com, promo code KFC. Minimum order may be required. All right, time to get into who's the biggest asshole, which is the number one selling item on the Barstool Sports Store right now. Number one trending, um, despite the fact that, um, you know, we should be its own company and this should thing should be on fucking shelves everywhere. Instead, it's just like our 10th project <laughs> and it's the number one fucking seller at the store. So go buy it. Uh, it is, it's the best gift you can get for the holidays. You have to buy it like right now, probably in order to get it for Christmas. But, um, I would guess it's too late for that. I don't know, man. Those, those, you, those shipped from Black Friday pretty fucking quickly. Yeah, that's true. But also, you know, you can is get it, it for the it's, holidays. It's probably afterwards. too late, but you fucking fuck off, dude. Yeah, it'll be like two it's, two, it's, two days later. No big deal. You can have a New Year's party anyway. Like, you know. or and the, and the thing is, these are fucking timeless. Also, check out on our, you know what? Can we just put the Frank video in here? Yes. So we went around the office playing who's the biggest asshole with people. Colleen handed out cards. Everyone read them and, and, and weighed in on who the biggest asshole is until we got to Frank the Tank. This was Frank Fleming playing who's the biggest asshole. All right. When it's my turn to order pizza for game night, I always get pineapple on it. Everyone else hates it, but it's not like it's hard to pick off the pineapple. <laughs> who's the biggest asshole? Uh, who's the biggest asshole? Well, right now I would say uh, there's a lot of kind of contenders. Uh, one I would definitely say is Chris Collinsworth. I fucking hate him. No, who's it in that scenario? Oh, I I think it's the guy who orders pineapple because pineapple doesn't belong on a pizza. There's a moment in that video where you know. Where it's going, not to Chris Collinsworth. I never in a million years thought Chris Collinsworth was coming out. But you could tell he didn't you, get. You can tell he like, did not know he was supposed to answer about the pineapple pizza. If I may say so about who's the biggest asshole, and and I don't think this is an insult to us. It's a very simple game. So simple. It is. It is. A that simple, was the pitch. It's, it's a game easier than ATI made by Simple Minds. Yes, and it yeah. is not. It's not a profound game. It is a game where you get to talk shit about people behind their back Amen. for being assholes. Amen. And it's it's incredibly fun. Fact Somehow it, it it did it didn't register with Frank <laughs> when he he read it the moment he went ah 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 and laughed like Count Dracula and then just put it down I was like this guy does not know what he's supposed to be doing and then when she posed the question he goes oh geez because there's no oh geez there's two people in the story <laughs> it's either the pineapple orderer or the pineapple complainer so you can't be like oh boy I gotta think and then Chris Collinsworth gets a gets a ricochet shot that was. That was brutal. I like Collins. I, I, I don't know why people don't like Collins. I don't know. I, I think uh, largely Collinsworth is liked. I think I think people sometimes get annoyed by him, but I think Collins, Collinsworth's a character. Dude, Collinsworth's, Collinsworth's a funny is, guy. It's like every, Joe Buck. Yeah, yeah. Roma. You get, but you but get, Joe but Buck is, is uh, Buck was hated because he was mon and people come around on that as well, which I never fucking got off that boat. Was, but wait, what? You're pro Buck. Pro Buck. Oh, I've yeah, been yeah, pro Buck yeah. since day yeah. fucking exactly. one. Yeah, never never wavered. Um, and the except uh, he, the David Tyree catch is is like. It's unexplainable. I don't remember that. It's no. just like Eli scrambles, throws it downfield, Tyree catches it. <laughs> it's like well, that's, that's it. it. It's crazy because he was so fucking. He was rooting for the Patriots. No, he was just so <laughs> he was so befuddled why those holds weren't called. Mm -hmm. was like, mm -hmm. Richard Seymour just got tackled. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, but but, but Buck, well, I, he was more monotone. The like Collinsworth's a character. Collinsworth yeah, gets yeah, up. He gets yeah. going. He the slide too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. I think this this is a this is a interesting one. I drank too much and threw up on my friend's new couch, but she is the one who pressured me to have another shot after I said I was calling it for the night. 
I think that is, I would hire a lawyer for this one. Well, you're never an asshole for throwing up. No, no, no. You're never an asshole for overindulging. You're never an asshole for being overserved. It is, you have to clean it up and that's your thing, but you're not an asshole. How about that guy in Philly who threw up on that little girl? You have to apologize. Yeah. You're like, sorry, shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually. John do, representing for the pukers all around I, the world. I, I genuinely think that is an overblown story. Like, it, it, like, look, if he was standing over and was like, Bleh! but if he was like, oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. Let me get a napkin. Like, that, I don't it, think he did that. I, if he did, that is like, I don't know, like, accidents happen. It is like. Yeah, yeah. But I also think that if you are in this situation where you're, you're like, just like, fuck you. Blah, and you puke Can on you the person. Like, you. Fuck you, little girl. Like, no, but what? I bet you he was so out of it, he didn't even know. I don't know. When and then there's puke, a girl you, covered it's in It's a pretty puke. sobering moment. Um, and I, I, I don't, I don't want to go out of my way to defend this guy because well, I don't dead. know the situation. He's dead. Yeah, he was also like a child molester. So you don't want to be. Oh, this guy's okay. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, got, yeah. I think he got hit with the charge uh, afterwards. And if that's not true, it's no big deal because he's fucking dead. So. Yeah, like I mean, as someone who's puked on numerous occasions and peed in numerous numerous places, it, it is. <laughs> Did you see the tweet? <laughs> you, it was the clip of you being like, "You're fucking." You not only were you making fun of Pabs. For the for the you were not make, you were saying how gross the, the toothbrush yes. was, but you also did throw in a line, and I almost I almost brought this up too. You're like that's too long to be using one toothbrush anyway. So and you and your boy have been sharing a toothbrush for like six months. You say six months. Well, oh. first of all, that's too long to have a toothbrush. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's six months. Maybe <laughs> like all right, oh, it was fucking six. American <laughs> Dental Association over here. When he said he had the same brush <laughs> yeah, for six yeah, months, yeah. and someone said the guy who wet the bed sober as an adult sure has a lot of thoughts about how often to change your toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> so, you I know did, that guy's making some sense. I only know because it fucking tells you on the side of the toothbrush. It's like when you sure, when your water like, bottle's empty, you're like, well, time to get a new water bottle. Right, but like, because you can tell it gets a, it's a little frayed. You're like, all right, I'll just pick up a new fucking. I guess, but it's also like you know, you should change your Brita filter. How many times do you do that? Oh, zero, literally never. <laughs> never. You should change your sheets. How often do you do that? Only when you poop in them. <laughs> like, there's a million things that you should do and that they're easy to do that we don't do as guys because we don't give a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty regularly. <laughs> like shit. flip right. your mattress or you know, all that kind I of. I flip shit. mattress like, logs. I fucking hate my mattress. <laughs> I need a new mattress. Got to get to helixsleep.com/slash/kfc. Yeah. Um. But I the, think well, if you uh, if you like, I will never get mad at someone for peeing or puking or whatever. I'll never get mad at someone. I've had people puke on my couch. I've had people who work yeah, at this yeah, company yeah. puke on my couch. I had a friend piss on my couch so bad that it was dripping. Like it, like it, he passed out early, so we were still partying, and kind of all of a sudden we heard like a like dripping, and he it like it soaked in and then like puddled up somewhere and was just pool of piss. And uh, this was after, so we have one friend, he's a fucking Adonis, like brick shit house, jacked, and he got so hammered, I think he might have been drugged or something, because he went, he was like, he was like Blanca from, from Street Fighter, he was like a, a monster, pinballing down the street, and he was like throwing shoulders into cars and jumping on the hoods of cars and shit, and we had to like wrangle him, it was like trying to bring a baboon home, <laughs> and uh, and so he was just absolutely blacked, and then we just threw him on the couch and he pissed everywhere, and uh, the next morning I think he woke up and was just like, anybody want a breakfast sandwich? Or, like he, I think if you do all that, you gotta apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were like, you're not even gonna apologize for fucking, oh, yeah, you know? dude, I'll profusely apologize. Sure, I, I apologize. Sure. Dude, I, I once get, I get a buzz on, all I do is apologize. I know, I know, I'm I, so, I just, I just start so saying afraid. sorry. Like, like I, 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 I feel so like, me too. Me. <laughs> I feel like once you've ever been in a situation where you're sober or, 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 or whatever, anytime you're not the asshole in a situation and you see how bad that person looks or, how much they're annoying other people. Like the minute I feel like I, I'm ever that guy, you know? Like as soon as alcohol touches my lips, I'm like, don't be that guy, don't be that guy. I talk I'm low, sorry, I apologize. I, 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 I to turn into like, I, 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 what happens is like, like, you know, like when they say like, when you get drunk, your your inner beast comes out or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and like, I actually think that might be true. Because when I get drunk, I just start apologizing for existing. I'm, like, I'm <laughs> so sorry. The, I, I, got I, so, I think I, it's the opposite. It's like the, the beast is the like, I keep it at bay because I'm like I don't I don't want to I don't want to be that guy. Don't be that guy. Don't be the guy. So I think you're. But, inner, but what I really what goes to drunk man's well, words you or are, Superman's yeah, thoughts? Yeah, is like, your my Superman, the Superman's for thoughts are like yes. I I I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. I fucking <laughs> suck. I know. I know. I suck. I'm so it's sorry. like, dude. Yeah, we're just having like a bottle of wine. <laughs> <I'm down. laughs> I think. Uh, I also think this is a very big glass stones glass house thing. Um, like, 
you can be all high and mighty, and this is in life in general. I, I, I go through this a lot with people who uh, talk shit about my my divorce, and then they'll like circle back around and be like, yeah, I got divorced too, man. Like, sorry for all those things I said. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's easy. If you haven't pissed or thrown up or blacked out, or thrown a punch, like done anything before, you get all high and mighty. And then it's like, okay, you're like, you know, 20 years old, bud. Like, wait, give it a couple years before inevitably you'll be that asshole. Yeah, and yeah, when yeah. you're that asshole, you want forgiveness. You want right. people to just be cool about it. So until you've done some dumb shit, threw up all over the couch, you know, whatever, uh, you 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 can, how, how could you do that? It's like, very easily, man. I assure you, I give nothing but grace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, but, but I know I what I, I've I, done to fuck up, and I know what I will do in the future to fuck up. I, I assure you, I am... I am not a grudge holder. I'm not a person no. who... You could As come in fact, and fucking... Like you, could, you don't have to piss on the couch. You could come in sober, knock on my door, I'll answer it, you piss, and I'll be like, dude, it's cool. I, I'm, I'm like, I'll give you more slack. I'll clean yeah. it up for you. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't ever... I If it, the tables are turned, I want you to, like, remember that, you right, know? Right. <laughs> um, I don't, honestly, I don't even want you to remember it. It's just like... It's my own conscience. Like, yeah, I'll just, yeah. I will be better knowing that I'm not someone who yells at people about now, this. all that being said... You gotta be able to hold your liquor. You shouldn't be puking on people's. You know, if this is like a regular thing, it's a problem. Yeah, You're a regular asshole. thing, right? You, you know, right. you do it. But it does, this doesn't say it's a regular. No, thing. but this I'm just is... saying. I'm just saying you can't give a full pass. You know, Joe List shitting in someone's shoe, yeah, one breaking time their deal. table. You he did it one once. Shoe. Everyone gets one <laughs> shoe to poop in. Right. <laughs> um, flip side, I think the one more shot guy is an asshole. I think they're a necessary asshole. I think you want to have them in your crew. I think you, it's a, a good person to have. You need that person around for the other 99% of the time. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he's the life of the party and you'll do some crazy shit and all that. But in that 1% moment where he's making you do tequila at like 3 a.m. Where it's like, there's literally no reason for this other but than to make the hangover reason, worse. reason, just a good time. But in the beginning, yeah. I it mean, is. It is I, I am, reason, I'm, not, I'm never going to gonna force it on you. But I, I'm going to suggest it. And and uh, but come on, but yeah, that's the yeah, that's, I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you. Come on, that's me. on you. Then that's your willpower. Uh, I don't have any. If I'm I, drunk. If I give you a come you're on, you're playing upon me. You're grooming me. I'm not gonna be like come, come on, come on, talking to pussies. Like, I'm not gonna be like that. I hate but, that. I but hate I'll, that. I'll give you a one. Come on, come on, come on, dude. The, the thing about it, people. What's one more? People also don't. This is this is. Uh, I'm gonna get New York on it because it's like a lot of times your last shot is like midnight. You know, sometimes people are doing shots when the sun's coming up. Yeah, it's like. For fucking what, no. man? This is gonna just be puked out like <laughs> on your couch in fifteen minutes. So I kind of think this it's like be you sweat reap what out you in sow. two days. Is yeah, gonna that's really gonna happen. So I, I think, um, I think the the uh, the last shot guy is a bigger asshole than the puker. Puking I, happens. I would. I, I think. I think I'm gonna give it. Nobody's the asshole here. No one's the asshole. Ooh, this is diabolical. Jay, I need you to weigh in on this. <laughs> My friend asked to tell her which outfit looked better for a party. I'm going to assume this is a female and or a gay guy. My friend asked to tell me which outfit looked better for a party, and I picked the uglier one because the guy we're both into was going to be there. I'm going to assume it's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a gay guy who fucking shoots for the stars. <laughs> shoots for the moon, land amongst the stars. It's fucked up, obviously. Uh, Sometimes I always, like, debate... With if my friends are telling me like the truth or whatever, it's really well. You have friends, terrible you friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no they are good, good healthy friends. relationship. They're good huh? friends, but I'm, I just get paranoid. I'm like, well, you're just saying that to hype me up. Yeah, or but or sometimes, I think this is also a card in there. It's like, I uh, like if my friends ask me and like I don't want to tell them that it looks bad because uh -huh. like I feel bad. Like yeah, of course it, it whatever, sucks. Then then I won't like I feel like I'm the asshole in that situation. Yeah, I won't. I'll never tell you you look bad. No. But uh, no. See, I don't know. People are it like. It depends. Like uh. to me, I always say like, tell me if I have a fucking booger in my nose. Let me know that I. That's look different. Like an that's asshole. an easy Let fix. Me know, but that's not like yo. Like I bought a new outfit. It's like ooh, uh, it's tough. That's hard. But I. But I do. Because I get mad when I'm like, uh, I think you should change. That's right. But I'm so like. so here's the thing, if you ask the question, this is. Put this aside for a second. That scenario. In general, if you ask someone, like, do how does this outfit look? You are opening yourself, and you want, like, a true answer. You then you then cannot be like, well, that was rude. Mm -hmm. You right, know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if the person's like, you look like a bag of shit. <laughs> Let me tell you why this, this, that, you know. But if you just say, like, uh, I like the other one better. Oh, what do I look fucking terrible? Like th That's what you should do, by the way. Everybody should give 
somebody two choices and that way, yeah. the, way they can just say and answer Which in the one? affirmative yeah, 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 i yeah, love yeah. that one and it doesn't mean you know the other one's whatever um but you know people are always like i, I want you know i would i don't want girls you know when, when it's like do i look fat in this yeah it's like no the girls are like no i'm asking you i really want to know it's like no you don't no, yeah, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> because the minute even if you say that in the minute that your boyfriend says to your face yeah that makes you look fat the relationship's over, to be honest. Yeah. That's it. He'll never forget that. So, you but gotta, also, you I, be I don't. I disagree. I, I don't. I, Have I, you I met just, girls. I don't. But I, guy, it's that, I don't think that's strictly girls. I think guys are the same way. Where I don't, I don't want to say it's relationship over, but like guys will be deeply hurt if you're like death fat man. But also, but like, okay, but you're like you're a fucking person, right? You've put on clothes in the mirror before, and you've gone. Ah, that makes me look fat. I think here's the answer. It's very similar to what we do here when people ask. Uh, should we leave? Should we leave that 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 clip in? Should I send this tweet, or is it like too much? You know, and it's like if you're already asking, you know the answer. Yeah, but but I because that's I, true. I think if you're if it's in your head, like I look pretty fat. First of all, it's already in your head. Yeah, so so you're gonna think it no matter what, really. And it, and if you and and what's the what's the risk? Like if you're thinking you look fat, you definitely don't think you look hot. You're I, you're hoping for. Not fat. Like you're hoping for just okay. Change the outfit. But see, but here's the deal. Unless you're fucking fat. Is I really wanna <laughs> like I really like this outfit. I really like these clothes. I know. So but, but like, if someone's if I if I'm wrong, if I if it is just bias more for you and someone gassing up, because it's it's happened. I, I think we, we resort back to that a lot. So where it's with like the, the tweet thing, where it's like if you're asking, but like, but sometimes it's just a fucking hilarious tweet and I'm being a pussy. And like I've done that before. But it's also and like, it's like, no, fucking send that shit, dude. That's it, hilarious. It's also to me like the juice worth the squeeze, it's like you know, you're not fucking ro walking the runway tonight. If you're going to walk around and some people might think you look fat, but some people are going to be like, that's a nice color. I, that's, I mean, that's not worth being having a bunch of people think I'm fat. I, but it's you, 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 I've looked in the mirror before and been like, oh, I look fat. And then someone's like, dude, you look fucking awesome. And I'm like, oh, I don't mind. Fuck yeah. it. And I go out feeling great. That's, yeah. that's what you, so you need. can, you can so be. What, what you need is a hype man in these situations. And you, Sometimes I'll ask just if I kind of am fishing for compliments. Yeah. yeah. Well, so right. here's the thing. Right. You, are you? <laughs> like, do, I, I do you look good? Yeah. You look good. <laughs> do you look good and you want to compliment? Mm. Do you actually want a real discussion? Or it's almost like when you're venting. It's, it's like, you know, don't, do I actually want honest feedback about my boss, or do I want you to just be like, man, your your boss is an asshole? Yeah. Rather than being like, which well, I actually, think is so lame. But just, just like that, venting. That, like, like, oh, you don't want my opinions? Go talk to the mirror then. What the fuck do you yeah, want? Yeah. 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 <laughs> But sometimes I, I get when sometimes people just want to fucking act like I someone else agrees never, with them. I never ask if I look fat if I think I look fat because I want to know the answer. I, yeah, I, I honestly don't I, I think, think I've once ever really. It, if like, it's gone to the point where you're specifically it. saying, "Am I fat?" I think you, in your heart, already look and feel fat. So you probably should just change your outfit. Yeah, if you're asking, "Am I fat?" And it's different for girls because you're never gonna wear something that's like exposing. Like, yeah. like, like I know, yeah, like, I know for sure out, today like, my outfit makes you look fat. I don't fucking care. I like it. <laughs> I, like I I'm wearing a yeah. chunky ass sweater and but baggy that, ass pants. Yeah, yeah. But if you were wearing like a fucking crop top and you know your stomach was out and but that that's not like that's not that's what girls does are this doing, make though. me look fat? That's not because no one asked that because it's not like you can see like well, your 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 fat whether it's whether it's you know whether or not you're obese is a different thing but like your stomach is hanging out. So you're not asking if it makes you look fat. You can see you're fat. Yeah, it's almost like not, and again, am I'm not I saying too fat. I'm not saying you can see out. you are fat. I'm saying why you are. You're possessive fat. You you can see your muffin top. So like you're not like you're, that, that's it's not your fat. That's not an ask. You're, where you, that's not like an outfit where you're like, do I look fat? I was like, I can see like it's it's everything. I can see it all out right now. Okay, the, wait. The, an outfit. Uh, you ask you ask if I look fat. I'm like fucking like form fitting clothes and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, not really yeah. like the this is hugging me stuff. too tight or whatever. Yeah. Now, the bio the diabolical sabotage. Where are we falling that? Because part of me is like, all's fair in love and war. Like as long as, you know, you're not like stealing somebody's significant other you're, or whatever. You're definitively an asshole. Yeah. You're you're, you're sabotaging someone. You're, you're sabotaging someone to the extent where you're letting them go out looking awful, so you can hopefully fuck a dude. <laughs> Bro, you can fuck anybody you want. Yeah, but they want to fuck that one guy. I mean, fine, but you still try and fuck them. Yeah, but it is that is that that, that is, is a that's dirty pool. That's dude. a grimy move. It's, it's a grimy move. It's just fucking weird. Also, to be, I don't it, know. It, it's so I've, I've never been in a competition for someone. I don't know if you have. Like I've never had like me and my friend like both no. interested in the same girl. Never. At least not that I've 
Constantly I've also anytime even like I, I really have never experienced I'm sure it, like in somebody elementary school, but I mean like if like somebody was if I like liked a chick and I saw my buddy like swoop in, I'd be like, Well, that's it. <laughs> you know, I yeah. would be like, I must fight for her. I'd get a buzz on and be like, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I like this one as well. The bartender at my local bar is super friendly and always wants to chat. The other day I had a bad day at work and I told him, I'm just looking for a quiet drink tonight. He's been really cold with me ever since. Ah, I've been in this. I've been in here before. I get this. And y you're an asshole. You, you, for 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 stopping the conversation, you gotta just fucking roll with it, man. You man yeah, there there have been a thousand times where I've been in an empty bar, and I just want to fucking chill, and I've ended up with a chatty bar and like, like a bartender I'm friends with, or yep. or a chatty bartender, one way yep. or the other. Where I'm like, dude, like I just, in my head, I'm like, I just want some peace and quiet right it's now. Similar to an Uber driver too, where sometimes you just gotta but like fucking ride you with just it. Fucking go with it. And, and, yeah. and particularly if it's at your local watering hole and you're friends with the bartender, like you went there, you went to a place where you know you're friends with the bartender. Yes, they're yes. gonna want to talk to you. Also, it's like if if you go to a uh, yeah, if you go to like a place you don't know, you can blow that bartender up and just never go again. Yeah, you, if you want to continue this, like you know, I'm sure you get some free drinks and exactly some preferential treatment. So then you've got to put some work into. And guess what? Ninety percent of the time, he's listening to your bullshit. I know. Today, you're listening right, to his. Right. Yeah. And and also, it's bartenders it's, can do no wrong in my eyes. It's also easy as long enough. as you fucking serve me drinks, I'm right. fucking fine. And, and they do deal with so much bullshit mm -hmm. that it's like be the be the good patron. Mm -hmm. You know. I also think it's very easy to just be like. Give some one-word answers. You're not chatty Kathy. He'll probably get the point. Yeah, he's a pretty good reader of social cues. Yeah, like, and at, at, he'll probably be like, oh, that guy's in a bad mood, like, after a few questions and leave you alone. Yeah. But for you to be like, ah, do not talk to me. I hate people like that, by the way, where it's like, I'm having such a bad day. Like, you're having such a bad day, you cannot even so go converse. home and pull the blinds down, you yeah, fucking loser. Like, if you don't, don't want any sort of interaction, don't go out in public. Right. The people who are like, and, and I'm sure that your bad day is like, what your boss told you like you need to do a better job at work <laughs> something like that you know I, bad day I, everyone who has a bad day is like dude shut the fuck up unless you are like a <laughs> firefighter it's like well you <laughs> yeah, know i yeah. lost a buddy in a five alarm blaze it's, <laughs> right, right. it's a bad day are you otherwise, a soldier like did, did someone yeah. like otherwise like you did, like a the, bad day at work i had up. a bad day i get you can have a long day at work sure because I'll, I'll get those i have long days and, and work. you can have bad days too they're all bad they're but all even terrible, like even but like, a bad day stop being a pussy yeah it's fucking fuck up it is like i like like when like that we've talked about this before, but like when people are like, don't even talk to me if you haven't worked in the fucking food service industry, which again I have, so yeah. I can say this: it's not that bad. I was gonna say it's and fucking, I, not and bad. I haven't really worked behind a counter once, but I can tell you that you know if I was waiting tables, I would just say to myself, man, this fucking sucks, yeah. and I would occasionally you run into an asshole, out. occasionally yeah. you run into a great people, right? It's, like, it's, like any other job ever. I've worked in retail too. Guess what? Sometimes people are assholes. Sometimes people are totally normal. It is just every fucking job ever, which is. Pretty much the answer to all these questions in this game. <laughs> little spoiler alert, everyone's kind of an asshole and everyone's kind of a good person. We are living in the future, and that means a couple things. Number one, that means you got uh, credit cards with microchips in them. Uh, number two, that means there are criminals out there who are trying to steal from you using those credit cards with those microchips. Also, we're living in the future where you're not carrying business cards and and other paraphernalia in your wallets where you need a big fat leather like satchel. We're talking about sleek wallets that can carry those one or two credit cards that you need and protect you from the criminals who are trying to use that RFID laser Mm. Laser stuff. They got me. They got me. They can get identity in. theft. If they, if they can get me, you can get anybody. I mean, John's practically a, like a spy. <laughs> they can get him. Everybody's in danger. Uh, it's got the RFID blocking technology. It's got 30 cards and styles. Uh, it can, it's got 30 colors and styles. It's got carbon fiber. They got burnt titanium. It can fit up to 12 cards, so you can be that, that fat, thick daddy, but it can also be slick and uh, compact and stylish, so you can get that right now. At ridge.com slash KFC, get 40% off through December 22nd. They also have uh, key cases that can secure anywhere from two to six keys. Uh, it 
it has six colors and styles available in that. It folds out with easy access for your key. So get the wallet and the keys at uh, ridge.com slash KFC. Get 40% all of that stuff through December 22nd. Uh, we'll do a little another little One Minute Man uh, wrap up on KFC Radio. We'll rattle through some of the topics floating around right now. Drake's 42 diamond necklace. The, the quote-unquote previous engagements necklace has 42 diamonds from from engagement rings from BlueNile.com slash KFC uh, that he says represents the 42 times he almost proposed to a girl. It's got 351 carats. It's probably got to be. You know, when you think that, like, the Kobe ring was $4 million, you know, talking <laughs> 42, 42 rings that are probably, you know, it's got to be. I don't think those rings are, like, I don't think those diamonds were like the cheap ones. I think they're the nice ones, you know? It's yeah. gotta be ten ten million dollars or whatever. Anyway. Dude, just come out of the closet. You're gay. Just like <laughs> You're just gay. come out of the fucking closet. <laughs> You're a gay dude. Like I think we dude. should have known when he put the heart in his in his hair. Dude. Uh but like 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 Master goes out to you, like, hey What's the deal with that lady necklace you're wearing? With the one with the cleavage down. Right, right it goes. It's yeah. so feminine. It's like it's a it's a cleavage necklace, and you'd be like, uh, it's for all the girls I wanted to propose to. Like, it's it's forty year old. Shut up, gay guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I mean, look at that picture. What's that? Oh, yo, dude, That's like his, yo. Also, also, uh, you know what his latest music video was? Twenty three wives. It's like this is the one where I'm totally marrying <laughs> so many chicks, bro. I I'm so straight. I married. You know what the gayest dude. thing in the world is? You know what the gayest thing you can do in the world? Marry a chick. Marry a chick. Yeah. It's the gayest thing ever is getting married to a girl. Yeah. And Drake's like, I'm so monogamous. Bam. Incense in your house. Gay. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> you marry a chick, your house starts smelling all pleasant and welcoming and shit. Gay. It's just gay. <laughs> For real, man. Start getting things put away and put and organized yeah, I mean, in, in your... In you your, marry a chick... Your fucking dishwasher gets emptied. Gay. Gay. <laughs> you, you, you marry a chick and you have all of a sudden all your silverware matches. Gay. <laughs> you marry a girl, you don't smell your underwear before you put it on. <laughs> gay. <laughs> Look at that picture, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. You gay. You gay. And this Dude, is coming from two gay guys. That's not even gay. That's like that's fucking P. That's what? P. P? P. P. E. P. E. D. O. Oh yeah, yeah, pedo, yeah, yeah. pedo, pedo. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the twenty three wives into the forty two engagement rings. It's, I mean, like, look, I look. Hey, Drake, you're talking. I like you a lot, dude. It's all good. But man. also, I don't believe. It. I don't believe you that you say you almost. Engaged but them. here's the. But Bro, here's the thing. Nobody do you, does. Like, I, do you think that he? Do you think this is re like he thinks this is real? Like, dude, there. Dude, is, that's a lady necklace. That is a that is straight up a nail. You know what that is? That looks like that that looks like that looks like a very elegant necklace to wear out to the opera. That looks like the 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 woman on the Titanic wore that necklace. Yeah, yeah. And the bottom neck, the bottom diamond was the one that fell into the ocean. That's some shit that like James Bond's girlfriend would wear to a a high end poker game. Absolutely. That this is like my tits look great, and I'm gonna put some diamonds in the middle of them. Zsa Zsa Gabor would wear that. I don't even know who that is, but that's gay as shit, right? Like this is. And the fact that he, when I saw that, I actually said to myself, oh, this is just like a, this is like an avant-garde, like, this is just a thing that sits on a mannequin, and we talk about it. And then you see him wearing it. Yeah. It's, 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 it's okay, Drake. But, but you know what, even, let's Drake, throw out, let's Drake throw got out. turned down by so many women, he, like, he actually was like, uh, like maybe I'll try guys for a little bit. <laughs> 42 <laughs> diamond, 42 engagement rings is so stupid, and I understand that if you were to make this necklace for real, it would only have, like, maybe two diamonds because people only like you would maybe only think about the only maybe engagements you have maximum is like maximum would be like three i've had one and it was not after my brain was fully it was before my brain was fully uh, yeah formed. right so you have like one when you're a kid you have like one where you know you thought she was the one and she dumped you maybe you have one where you thought she was the one and you end up dumping her and then you find like the one so like it's like and that's like maybe. I've had a bunch where I was like, "Oh, this is gonna make me marry her." <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got to defend we, Drake real quick. Oh, I fucking a! Drake. Because I think so. Drake, Drake, this is like Drake's version of like of what Kanye's doing. How like much can I do without like actually being canceled? Like actually, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How lame can I this be? This is like how like cringy and like gay can I be? Because I, I think what, it's so what an I was, I was angle say, to take <laughs> <laughs> and still be considered the goat. I was <laughs> I, I say put aside the gay thing for a second. It's the corniness. I don't the th- by the way, I don't think his homosexuality changes the fact that he's great. I fucking love Drake. Yeah, no, I no. think he is one of the greatest. But, but I, I think more so than gay, it's it's more corny and cringy than it is even gay, and that's saying a lot because it's super gay. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I, I, I like, like, does he think? How many girls have you tried to marry? I tried to marry forty. Forty two of them. <laughs> That's like you being like, yeah, sex lasts like, like an hour and a half, right? right yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, forty minutes. Is what I said. I, you guys do you think that people right? that he thinks that people believe this? Do you guys like? I, I just think this is a, a story to make a really fat fucking necklace. You know, this is all just for publicity, right? Yeah, like, but every, like, like everything. But that's what's so, that makes it even lamer because he's like, you know, what's a, a cool story? Like a, a thing that'll be cool? Like what if I what if uh, I tell the people I almost got engaged forty two times? It's like you you're are, a rapper. You wanna know what actually cool people do? They do publicity shit like this and also make good music. Happy birthday, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Um, happy birthday to my dad. Same uh, birthday as Taylor? Yeah. Well, right? Yesterday? The, thir the 13th, right? Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also, happy birthday to Shea Girl on the 12th. It was a, you know, shitty, cold, <sighs> snowy so day. Could have been fucking, we could have done it June 12th. Could have, <laughs> could have had that summer birthday. The OGs know. Every, um, uh, Avatar 2 is almost out, officially out. People have seen, like, early screenings of it. Where are we at with that, Nick? Like, some, some theaters, uh, whatever? I, I think it's out. It should be out now. It comes okay. out Thursday night, but they usually do it all day Thursday No night. doubt that this movie sucks in my mind and that everyone's going to suck its dick. I'm going to suck its dick. Um, I haven't seen it. Never seen the first one. I I'm interested. cannot believe. I'm such a sheep. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. <laughs> I cannot. You're, you're so funny. You're either the sheep or the, and you're the wolf. Yeah. The opposite. <laughs> you know? I, um, a man must wear many the, hats. When I see people. They all use the same words. I think even Ken Jack did it. I wanted to smack him. I was like, not you too, Ken Jack. He said breathtaking. Or they say like, like it, it, it's like inspirational or whatever. It's like, it's fucking. Those are two pretty common words to describe movies. It's like, these are fucking computer graphics. Like, these are just like, these are just like special effects. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't. Every movie under the sun has like a lot of special effects, and as a matter of fact, I think most of them are like getting worse. I noticed that recently with some of my film viewing. Um, right, I've been on a disaster movie kick. Uh, I've been underwhelmed with some of the special effects. Which is I, again, nuts. I haven't seen like this. The, apparently, this movie is like the special effects. Like it's it's groundbreaking. It's all well, stuff. Groundbreaking. Yeah. All I, these, I, like the, if you were in the in the movie industry and you're like, no, 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 you don't understand. This is using a camera that could like go underwater and like. The, the 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 pixels are this and that's never been done before and you're a nerd about it fine if you're a regular ass person going to the movie and then being like it took my breath away the graphics it's like it's a mon it's like have you seen monster movies have you seen alien movies have but you we've seen been, we haven't seen either or you haven't seen the first one either i've seen the first one okay you see it in theaters no I, I, also, I, I also will never give a fuck about that. I, so I maybe I'm the wrong to, person to talk about. You never give a fuck about theaters? No, about like graphics being like that good or that bad. I'm just like, is the plot good and the, you know? Here's like, here's my thing with it is that just like, I don't know. It was, it was, and and I, and I think still might re become because of a re release because of this one. Like the number one selling movie of all time. Mm -hmm. It's got to be good. Like there, there's just no know. way. I mean, it's it's a movie. Right? Like Endgame I watched it recently like, because of the, that, and I was like, I never even finished it. I was like, I'll never watch so this movie again. Endgame beat it for a while, then James Cameron they re -released, re released it like a motherfucker. It, so that way he could. Yeah, he, still be and that's also one. my problem. James Cameron's a smug motherfucker. That's and yeah, he bothers I like me a lot. That. Yeah, I like that. I can go one of two ways. I hate him for it, but I do understand the people riding for him. But uh, there, I think it's super weird to be like a James Cameron dick rider. I like to for you for that to be your thing. Like James Cameron is like the way I am with sports the way some people are with taylor swift then you're like but my guy is james cameron kill yourself dude the, so like i mean it is you know i guess the if uh, star wars would be my one here but i'm look, just looking at like the best the highest gross movies of all time like yeah i like them all they're fucking good movies yeah that's right? that like, well so i avatar think avatar i think game. avatar is one billion percent james cameron and uh and like the hype machine it's just not that good of a movie I, I like, like seen if, it, so that, I can't if, opine. if if Avatar was just on the Sci Fi Channel, like a made for TV movie, I don't think anyone would bat an eyelash. But it does, I mean, that's the point, right? I think that it's just James Cameron, and they like. I don't think that. I don't think, dude. It's sold two point nine billion dollars at the box office. It, it, is, it it's it's baffling. It's like all like those that, other movies that make many sense. Don't care about James Cameron. I, I think that movie is all 100% about the graphics and the hype and James Cameron and the idea that, like, this has never been done before. And it's, like, it's a weird sci-fi movie that's really not that, like, good. I, I have to see it. I, I don't it, know. It, it always very much puzzled me that it was I, even I mean, remotely I think, close to all that. I think, like, there's parallel lines with uh, the way Star Wars, it's, like, they're helping the rebellion and stuff like that. So story-wise, it's, like, kind of... 
I mean, everyone ends cliche. up loving that, where it's yeah. like they're helping the indigenous people beat the big bad coming in, which is fucking America. The fact that you don't even know anything, like you, you don't even have to see some movies, those movies on, the, on that list to really even know like what they are and who the, you know the characters, you know the storylines, basically. The fact that Avatar is just like this random blip of like nobody really even talks about it or knows about it other than the graphics and James Cameron and... Like, you don't know anybody's name in it. Yeah, yeah. You don't know that anything is, about the plot, peculiar. you know? know yeah. It's like, it's just this I thing. I they have, like, sex with their tails or something like that. That's, yeah, they link up tails to fuck. It's, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> that's, it's that's my, my knowledge of Avatar. <laughs> it's right. a weird Isn't moment. that bizarre? And then, and then the next one comes out, and they're just talking about the graphics again. And it's like, uh, it looks a lot like the first one to me. And the first one was 20 years ago. The uh, Shout out Furious 7 is number 10. I didn't know Fa Furious 7 is a top 10 grossing film of all time. That's the fan. Fuck yeah. Um... So whatever. Was I mean, that Paul James, Walker's last one? Uh, Fast Seven, yeah, yeah. I know Robbie got mixed up with the the James Cameronites, and they are the st not. the stands defending him are insane. Like it's so he's, weird, man. I, I, I like James Cameron. I, he's I hourly being him, an asshole. Like, like he, I he's, think, I think that's cool. I him like, him just dropping <laughs> Thanos looks like shit. It's like that was a very realistic yeah, he, for being he, an alien. He's just trying to like. Stoke he's one the of those fire, like which, yeah. I kind of comic respect book it, movies but, are not cinema yeah. guys. But no, the, somebody I don't somebody think he's tweeted, that, but I, I think oh, I, I think he literally oh no, he's very, very much that. Yeah, he's very, very yeah. much he like just said really that. like yeah. Scorsese in that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, I don't think I didn't know it was his Cameron most recent talk. Scorsese movies. Was it, I think James well, Cameron movies is very much well, no, I, fucking like blockbuster type yeah. movies, like like action movies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm wrong, but like I do love the fact that James Cameron is like the what the was the question why don't you go to the bathroom. Just go to the bathroom whatever the fuck you want. You're going to see this movie twice. That's gangster. <laughs> that is dope. <laughs> yeah, Avatar motion picture beats Marvel's down. It's going to break down. Um, the, um, there was somebody who was tweeting about James Cameron being like, like, of course it's good. Like, James Cameron plus wet equals, like, amazing. I saw that. And I was like... I saw, <laughs> I saw that tweet. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go see this fucking movie. I, I, gar I guarantee you will hate it. Really? Yes. I mean, I think it is a stupid... Weird sci-fi. I would be very surprised if you're into it. Uh, we've also got a uh, entry into the Me Too 2 movement. It's something that we push when we do our live shows all across the country. We are spreading the gospel of our movement called the Me Too 2 movement, where we are uh, not fighting back because we don't want to stop the Me Too movement. We are simply fighting alongside for the rights of men as well. Mennonites. Mennonites to uh, capture, to, to regain some upper hand, or just equal hand in in the crazy relationships that men can find themselves in. Girls can find themselves in horrible situations and not take it away from that. What men find themselves are is I was in a normal relationship and all of a sudden this shit went sideways and now instead of just like breaking up or or having a talk about it, we are dealing with full-blown psychopaths. And the latest entry here uh, on Twitter, this video went viral of this guy just, this girl just blew up her boyfriend's car. How did she do this? There's a gas, you see a gas tank on the, when the video first starts. Oh, she just lit it on fire. Yeah, look at that. I see, I see. Yeah, I see. she yeah, just yeah, lit it on yeah, fire, okay, and then, okay. then things pop off, and the hood explodes, and your car is burnt to a char, and now it's like, and you know what the craziest thing is when girls do these things, and it's equally crazy on the guy's part? These, these people are going to get back together. Uh, yeah, well, my, my favorite part is the guy, can you hit me with the volume real quick? Mm -hmm. uh, is, he is... How casual that was. I can't believe she blew my car up, bro. Dude, dude, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? I can't believe she blew my car up, bro. Like, dude, like, like that was on you've been the, in you those know. situations, that's that's the 10,000th time that guy's done that. And every time there's been a little bit of an escalation, and so it's always just, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. what? But my, I remember I had a math teacher once in high school who said that uh, every day you could you could pick up a pig and carry up a hill. You, like the idea of picking up a three hundred pound pig and carrying it up a hill is impossible. Mm -hmm. But if you picked up a one pound pig, and a two pound pig, and a three pound pig, and a four pound pig, and then a five pound you pig, you could do three hundred You could do three hundred pounds, no problem. You wouldn't even notice it. Because you could, you have to move a three hundred pound pig like one in one foot. You're saying at the very end. And no, you just, just just like if you oh, did you're that every one day, day, you did one and pound. The second day, you did two pounds. Right. The second day, you did three pounds. You wouldn't realize that you even got to three hundred pounds. Well, not daily. But I understand the point. Yes. Yeah. That I don't think he was being literal. And that is a similar situation where it's just like you, you have let this little fight and this little fight. You, you let another it, thing that makes you, you go, give an hmm. inch. You give an you inch. Man. Another thing that makes you go hmm. Another thing that makes you go hmm. Like nice thing you know your car's on fire in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> and that guy and she knows 
because of what you just described that like it'll be okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, you know, oh, he – it starts out like, oh, you, you like smashed a bottle of wine against the wall when we were fighting and you're like – Okay, that well, was a little crazy, on. but that's all right. People do that. That <laughs> 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 okay. <I> happens sometimes. <laughs> I, I no, I've never done wine. I've done other things. I like had that. one smash a bottle of wine and then hold the fucking like like shreds in it, like the broken piece in her hand <laughs> make all sorts of threats i've i've had um, i've had one smack me so many times that her tits fell out <laughs> <laughs> i was like a half big oh shit girl your titty she was she was Cheek. in uh one of like really flowy dresses and uh or flowy like shirts and it was just like bang 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 bang, bang, bang. And I was just standing there fucking eating them with an iron jaw. And then eventually my friends had to go, your boobs are out. <laughs> your and friends she, had to go? Yeah, my friends were You're right there in front yeah, of people? Yeah, no one was helping me out. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Write that down for the live show. <laughs> that John's friends just let it happen. <laughs> fucking Everyone's Mincy like, ooh, style. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, that is bananas. Um... But you let that you let the slap go. That was the girl I must propose to and, before and, my brain first <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you let the slap go. You let the uh, screamed at me in Not front of my friends go. To, by the way. You let like the you you like harass me at work go. I don't know, whatever. And then you keep getting back together. Most likely because, you know, the sex is absolutely bomb. Uh, and then next time it's an actual it's an actual bomb. Then all of a sudden your car <laughs> fucking explodes and and this is just a video that's like, LOL, she crazy for this. It's like, no, 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 no. She should be institutionalized and or charged criminally for this. She's arson for this. You <laughs> fucking assholes. Dude. Chicks are just so goddamn I entitled now. It's so fucking crazy. You are abusers, <laughs> all of you. You're all abusers. The uh, uh, This is off topic, but similar topic. Uh, I, 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 I the, just the relationship with women and cars. Um, I was with friends this weekend and, and some married couples and stuff like that. I wish one day to have as much pride in something as as girls do in their inability to park cars. <laughs> like it was like, like I, I watched a fight, like a full on fight happen, where it was like park in that spot. Mm -hmm. and she's, that's not a park, that's not a parking spot. <laughs> He's like, no, oh, it's a parking because spot. she couldn't. She it's was a like, parking spot. Well, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> and and it was like. I was like, but it's like, it's a it big, is, like, that's a that, big parking, uh, parking spot. Parking spots are can, not a, like an objective thing. They either <laughs> are or they are not. It's like this massive parallel. I kind of like girls who, like, I know people who will, like, drive the car and then they're like, here you go. I, like, I, I just think take that's the keys insane. out and give it I, to I've you. I've known girls who like, just, they'll get out and they'll give the keys to a stranger. And that, like, that's a little like, crazy. Can you park my car for But I, I, I don't mind, I don't mind people who are like, I can't do this. Like, can you do I this? do mind. Because it's a very easy thing to learn. I, yeah. I mean, I can do it. Like, no problem. But if you're bad at something. And you just say, "I need help." I can't knock. You can't knock somebody. You can't, fat. can't knock that. But I, I feel like like girls, at least the girls I've dealt they don't with even in my try. life, like like they'll be like, "What's up? I'm Stephanie. I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, I don't know how to park cars." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like, used it's to, like all right. We'll just fucking work on that. The then. worst would be, I like we would go somewhere and we're just driving and like like we go by one. I'm kind of like. Uh, I don't know. She didn't see that one. And then, boom, buy another one. And then I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. She wants to, like, park closer to the exit or whatever. And if and if you do all that and you don't say anything, then fine. But all of a sudden, it's like, there's no parking. We're going to be late. It should. You, we should have done this. We should have done that. And then I'm like, well... We just passed a bunch. She's like, yeah, and then it becomes like, well, no, no. I, yeah. I couldn't have written that one. <laughs> and then it's like, yes, you could. You absolutely could have fit there. And then it's like, what are, you trying, what are you saying? I'm like, I'm wrong or I'm lying or I can't. And then it's a fight. And it's like. <sighs> <laughs> um, but the, the, the lesson here is uh, don't don't let anybody even so. Don't. I honestly want to say don't let somebody slap you or go through your phone more than twice. Like if that happens more than once, if that happens, it should be over. More than once, so one time. One time. Eh, get a little like little leeway. <laughs> get two. Get two. And this is the man. <laughs> I was say, I don't, I've never had anyone go through my phone. That, really? Well, that yeah. you caught. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you've known. Bad news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. Yes, you have. <laughs> you have. It just turns out you're a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> you got a good boy over there. <laughs> Jack, do you have any crazy friends? Excuse me, Jay, do you have any crazy friends? <laughs> do you have like um, girls that are like, you know, uh, like I'm going to go to his house and you guys are like, oh, fuck, that's a bad idea. Oh, not like go to his house. The, mm, I mean. I've, I've had girls nah, that's like, a yes. in, the, in the talking stage were like, I was like, what are you up to? And it's like, I'm going to my friend's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend's house. We're going to go key his car. Yeah, like, and I was like, like crazy. all right, that's something we'll have to work on. <laughs> 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 have you ever, um, like, like enabled one of your friends as being crazy? Or, or like, like, would you step up and be like, yo, you know you're the crazy one here? No. No, never. I, look, I, I green light everything. I'm like, <laughs> green light everything. Like, my friends go to me if they want to. Yeah, you're that girl. To, like, I like that. I like that you... That's a good person to become as long as it's publicly known. Because then, first of all, you never have to give real advice. Yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. And you can just always be like the, go for it. And then also when things go bad, you go, you know that I'm not the fucking voice of yeah. reason. Yeah, I'm if you the, wanted real advice, I'm the devil on your shoulder. Me. I'm always that person. If yeah. you have a red light friend, too, then you can openly be the green light friend. Yes. And then the problem is I don't think anybody has or utilizes the red light friend. <laughs> they don't want to. They want someone to be like, yeah, blow his car up. God, girls are the worst, man. They're fucking crazy. Um, one last thing. Uh, Tommy Smokes is a chick. Just totally would smash. Absolutely. Really the gauges do it for me. The what? Gauges. Oh, she had the, uh, oh I don't like those, but, yeah. but it, it, I will. I don't, I don't necessarily like them. But it is her. the idea of them. Kind of the type like, of girl who would like, rock them. Like, is, oh, you would do that? I mean, this chick is a baddie. <laughs> That that boy Tommy Smokes got titty. <laughs> she got she got a Coke bottle body. I not only would I fuck Tommy as a girl, I would make sure I came on her face. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know I didn't know that was gonna hit my ears like that. I didn't like Dude, it. Look at that slit in the dress and shit. Tommy's yeah. got his Halloween costume. That's for Jesus. sure. Jesus. Right. I'd be like, you taking this girl. <laughs> I don't know if I, I fuck. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what are you going to say? I don't, I don't know what I was going to say, <laughs> which is the scariest part. I don't know. I, see, I, I think it's just going to make noises. Just like, mm, just growling. Mm. Just guttural sounds. Mm. All right, let's get into voicemails. Let's rip a couple. <laughs> what do we got? We can also go like, to out and about a couple minutes. I'm like the kombucha like. girl. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. This podcast is brought to you by Hey, Dude. You know that feeling of coming home after a long day where you sink into your chair or you put on your favorite uh, pajamas or you do whatever to get loose? That's what it's like when you slide your foot into a pair of Hey, Dudes. Yeah, it, put, it puts your feet on chill mode chill mode man it's it's the co most comfortable shoe out there look at this i mean you can fold it up and bend it up because it's made of soft rubbery materials it's got the top uh material that's kind of like knit so it's very uh malleable and comfortable it's got the bungee cords so it's easy to tie or tighten or you can leave them uh loose like that and just slide your foot in and wear it as a slide uh they've got the designs on the inside here we're doing a little um, what's that called? Camouflage with the black, gray, and brown. The speckle sole. These are uh, pretty like standard looking shoes that you can rock any sort of outfit with, but they are incredibly comfortable and the lightest. I mean, these are light. These are like they're, they're very, zero very. ounces, uh, and they're cozy. If you want to get the uh, hol winter uh, holiday versions, you can get ones that are lined in the inside with Sherpa so that you'll stay warm wear them all year long uh try for yourself step inside your toes get on chill mode it's like when you kick your feet up you relax but you gotta let your feet relax by putting them on hey dude let your toes relax go to heydude.com get a pair for yourself or as a gift for someone else uh this holiday season use code barstool for 15 percent off that's heydude.com promo code barstool for 15 percent off hey dude good to go to <laughs> I, uh, I happened to be at your guys' Denver show, awesome, and happened to be sitting right next to the start of the barber, which, unbelievable callback, 2015, can't believe it. Got me thinking, first off, do you ever worry like a callback is not going to hit the way it did years back? And then second, and maybe you guys answered this before, but fuck it, um, top three, like if you had characters, callbacks, whatever, mm. 
people to come back into the fold right so now. So for those like, who don't know, uh, we had like Bastardo the Barber at our live show. You have to be a pretty old school OG for that. It was a guy who wanted his girlfriend to do a better job of shaving. Her pussy. Her pussy. And uh, so he role-played. He came up with a character named Bastardo the Barber, and he was like, let me shave your pussy to turn it into something like kinky. And then we, after like eight years, he resurfaced, and he came to our live show and did an excellent job, by the way, coming yeah. up on stage with us. You would have thought like he was a, a co-host of our show. Mm -hmm. Like People would be nervous. I would be terrified because that's a story you tell your buddies, not to like, a room full of people. Like, yeah, I shaved my girlfriend's pussy. Yeah. And he was like really cool and confident about it. We did a great segment with him. Um, he's way up there on the list. Um, do you remember uh, the Player Haters Ball when Wilbraham wore a Doritos bag yeah, on his head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to I bring, remember his name, but I remember the guy. I want Doritos Wilbraham. Bag. Wilbraham was a, a hardcore player hater, but I remember kind of also talking to him on the side a little bit, and, he, and there was some logic in him. He was kind of like, yeah, I'm a hater, but like you guys are doing your thing. And I was mm -hmm. like, all right. And he came, because that's why he even came on the show, but he, would, he was too much of a pussy to show his face. So he put a, do you know how gross a Doritos bag is? Like the bottom of a Doritos bag with all the residue and the the like the, the film and yeah. the the I had, I had a buddy and put in, it on his head and tried to do a whole thing look like a Doritos Klansman. I had a buddy in high school who used to use Doritos bags as dip dip bags. Ugh. Like, like almost like you know like the fucking like volcano so vapes. pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like, carry around the phone. That thing. is fucking no vile. Bag of spit, you are dude. disgusting. No I don't know why that's any worse hey, than a hey, bottle, hey, but like. And however gross you think this guy is, he was 10 times. That's more gross. gross. <laughs> Yo, there was a, meeting r truly gross people in college was awesome. <laughs> people like you, you don't shower, you don't brush, dude, you don't I, do I, anything. I met a kid once who was fucking, he had long ass fingernails, and I was like, oh, God. And I watched him use them to cut chicken once. Yeah, you don't get that like unless you go to college and you can mix it up with people from all over. Just the place. fucking like, <laughs> slice, oh. like, <gasps> like, like chicken parm, bro. Oh. <laughs> that, were they all that way, or he had like one like? No, poke, no, no, they were all finger. that way. Was was, he Wolverine, Jesus it was, Christ! I, it was, I was visiting a college, so like, I don't know if this is a regular thing or if yeah, it was just, like, yeah, yeah. It was I was visiting my buddy. It, that that night turned into the Great Providence Piss Fight of two thousand six. Uh, naturally, <laughs> <laughs> naturally, <laughs> he was involved. He was involved in the Great Providence Piss Fight. I, um, last time we were talking about, I didn't say this, but I was thinking about what if there was a female version of the Great Providence Piss Fight of two thousand six. <laughs> just a bunch of chicks there's, there's a million on Pornhub, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> squirt fest. Put the sprinkler on. <laughs> yeah, dude, chicks, chicks have piss fights get paid for. <laughs> I, got, I got piss fights get expelled. <laughs> um. Anyway, old school characters I would want in the mix. Um. I mean, there's a million people that I wish we like followed up with more. You know, Gay Joe, we we talked to decently. He's still in the mix. Ravi Patel continually hits him up about maybe doing like an HBO special about him, his whole life story. Um, the come in the hand girl, I would love to find. Oh yeah, that's like the classic Look at this clip. Guy fucking come on me. We we could probably find the number if we really did a little bit of due diligence, like the day that she called or the day the episode. Look up her number. We probably could find it. How about this? If you listen, call back. If yeah, hey, if you're, yeah. Hey, if, hey, you're the, if you're the call, if you're the just or stop you know, coming in your hand on, girl. Come in the hand girl. I, that would be fun. I mean, it's obviously way too late to do it now, but like a year end mm -hmm. callback. Like we should do that the best of the year where we find the everyone. People. Yeah, because yeah. we really don't d utilize that enough. Can we do? Do we still have time to do that? Can we do that next week? Can we uh, I could try if we put together. Probably, probably depends on if we get enough uh, like um, responses. That's what I'm saying. Because we have to come up with the people, right? Yeah, outsource. Okay, everybody, everybody, tweet at the KFC Radio Twitter handle. Who you None of you ever do this, by the way. Fucking actually do it. Uh, part of me hates that they don't do it, and part of me likes, like, because I'd be like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but no, do just it. Say a voicemail you liked. Yeah, just tweet at us what your top one, two, three, five, ten, however many you can come up with in your head that you think were the best voicemails, or link to it. However you can do it, convey to us what you think the best voicemail of the year was, and we'll put together maybe a uh, an episode with a few we'll call back, or we'll at least just rehash a few of them. Um, so... Uh, you know what? I, I, Jay Cutler's got to be the number one on the list. Yeah. we yeah. got to get Cutler back one day. All right, next. I want to know, this is really like an am I the asshole for you. Um, I want to go see Shane Gillis live. He's in, in Salem this uh, next April. I waited too long to get tickets. 
um, trying to get somebody to come with me. I should have just bought two and just said, screw it. All that is left is handicap accessible seating. And it's a, for a wheelchair accessible and then wheelchair companion. Am I the asshole if I buy that? Then, if I buy that, do I have to fake be in a wheelchair? No. It is um, ridiculous. You can buy that. Please let me know. Yeah. yeah. I'm, work. I'm trying to. If, if, I think it's like if. if uh, I, I think if you're going to do it, do it. Go all the way? Yeah. <laughs> For a Shane show, definitely. If you're going to do it, do it. <laughs> and then meet him after, and go to take the picture right and stand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've done it before in Walmart. Fake, fake, you hopped in a, yeah. in a thing? I mean, fat people do it at Disney all the time. Right. It is. I think fat people buy handicap accessible t- seats on the regular. Yeah. I, 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 think, I think they're handicapped. They're fat. But I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think do it. Dude, if you're gonna do it, do it. Okay. Go, go, go get yourself a wheelchair. Yeah, dude, fucking yeah. easy peasy. They sell them at Goodwill all the time. People die. People in wheelchairs die more than regular people. <laughs> if you didn't know that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and their wheelchairs gotta go somewhere. If you go to your local Goodwill, you'll find yourself a wheelchair. No problem. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all these wheelchairs? <laughs> all these people are dead. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you go to like a baseball game, you'll see the handicapped seats are like filled with regular people. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, there, there I, might uh, be a certain like. I bet you. I'll say. I'll say this. I went to a hockey game with someone who works at this company. Uh, yeah. Big Devils fan. Yeah. We sat in handicaps. Frank. Frank seats are <laughs> handicap seats. Frank, Frank's season tickets, I think, are in handicap seats. Yeah. yeah. I was walking into opening day of the Mets this year, and some guy said he had handicap tickets, and he didn't have the balls to go do it. He's like, "Do you?" He saw us. He's like, "You guys look like three scumbags. Don't go do it." And they're like, "I will take those tickets, and I will stand the entire game, and I have the best seats." I had like yeah. nosebleeds, and I went down to the front. I, from I'm the front pretty row. sure. <laughs> if if the I whole had time. to guess the way I would run it, if I was a ticket person for a team or whatever an event, I would like hold them until like a week before the event and then you release them and it's like we're gonna sell those to regular people because none of the hando is called up yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, the, if the cappers want to call get some cappies calling up then you got to give it to them but if not then we just sell it like it's a regular seat so i think he's in the clear but hey wouldn't it be fun to pretend to be handicapped for a day dude fucking unbelievable. <laughs> you buy your boy tickets your boy's gotta push you around all night gang shit. I, I think it would be funny <laughs> you know what i bet i bet you Y- you can tell if you really like look. I bet you like just the way you would even sit. It's like that's not real. Yeah. You know, I, I bet you, you don't even realize that you that, like that, yeah, that you got a dangle different. foot for sure. You got to have a little bit of a like loose foot. You know? <laughs> um, one more or no? One, one more. more. Okay. Last voicemail. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. The holiday season is here, which means uh, some people it's very easy for them and they're happy and they're around their family and friends. And other people who aren't as lucky. Or other people who uh, go through more stress. Work can be harder. Family can be harder. The holidays can be an uh, absolute nightmare for mental health sometimes. And so if you're one of those people who struggle through Christmas and New Year's and Hanukkah and, and time off from work and all that stuff, BetterHelp has uh, online therapy for you right now uh, that you can take advantage of during this tough time of year. You sign up. You take a questionnaire. They match you with the people, the therapists that work best for you. And uh, next thing you know, you can either text with a therapist, call with a therapist, or do a video chat within 24 to 48 hours. They've helped over 3 million people. So this is not something that like, you know, is unproven or doing therapy online is some weird thing that people don't do. A lot of people do it and you can do it too. Uh, just fill out that questionnaire. They'll match you. And if you don't like it, you move on. Bam. You just on to the next one until you find somebody who works. So you don't have to worry about finding someone. You don't have to worry about the waiting room. You don't have to worry about commuting to and from your doctor. Uh, all it is is instant access to a therapist who will help you get through uh, your struggles. Go to betterhelp.com slash KFC to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash KFC. Get 10% off your first month. What's up, guys? Uh, let's get right to it. But um, it's like a story turned into a question. But um, so last night, me and my girlfriend were watching Andrew Schultz on whatever you do whatever video stand up and um <laughs> I, like at one point i'm going down on her and uh whoa that's really <laughs> like he's weird. doing a bit where he's talking about how hispanic dudes will add an s to like words that don't need s's on it so like i'm like in the middle of it like 
face deep in her, like nose deep. And uh, <laughs> reverse birth, we call that. Like the side <laughs> of my ear, I just hear, yeah, let's go on down to uh, the Red Lobsters. And I fucking like verbally started laughing, like into her pussy. <laughs> and, like, fucking like, I could not control it. And like, it was like a funny thing, didn't really matter. But I guess what I'm getting at is like, What's like the funniest thing you've had on in the background Ooh, good while like hooking up, doing whatever? And like, is there ever been a time where like you like verbally started laughing like in the middle of it, like they say something or something that just throws you the fuck off? I definitely haven't laughed. Thanks, guys. Laugh into a pussy. I think I have, but into I don't think it was because of something I heard. I think it's something like going off, on during off, sex. Like, fucking around. Yeah, yeah. That, that can be funny. Um, but the echoes like a cave. Yeah. <laughs> Echo, oh, 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 oh. Uh, the, the, the S thing is funny, by the way. There's a lot of that with barstool. A lot of people, are, oh, you, you you go to barstools. You like barstools? Yeah, oh, you work for barstools. Time. It's like, what? Why? Why would you do that? My friend calls it barstools ports. Time. Huh? We got time. To push it to three. Yeah. Um, my friend calls it barstools ports. It's like we have we barstools have ports. Ports, like you know, we, like jokingly, but being like, yeah, it's like a you know a shipping company. You go to the ports, barstools ports. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why people do that, but they do it. Um, the funniest thing I've ever had on the background. I don't know if I can. I I don't know if I can like specify. It. There's definitely been times where I'm like, give me the remote, I gotta turn that off. Whether it's like a serious movie, really? But, yeah. Oh, I've never done that. Yeah, no, never definitely done times that. I'm like, I don't want. I've had this. I've had fucking family reunion screensavers running, and I'm like, I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can separate the art from the artist. You know? <laughs> oh what did you say? I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I said, oh, my God, you're disgusting. <laughs> uh, it was actually me just screaming in disgust. <laughs> Speaking of disgust, I was just thinking about this as you talk about, like, being, like, nose deep in pussy. Have you ever, like, smelled inside a pussy? Um, like a gaping pussy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like... Like the hole is open, like, and like I say you were put having it in, sex or I get like switched a switched up, and it was like open. Uh, no, <laughs> have you? Yeah, I have. Is it, I mean, is it just Not, more like pennies? And no, it's, it's a little more juicy, a little, more, little meaty, a little more uh, visceral, little internal. More. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get that, that. You're like smelling an organ at that point. Yeah. <laughs> you ever smelled raw liver before? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what it is. the liver king over here. <laughs> I, just I've. Um, I definitely noticed that. Uh, smelled lower intestine. <laughs> I definitely tasted lower intestine. <laughs> I definitely have tasted. I mean, if you've ever really done the, if you're eating somebody's oh. ass and you're doing like the tongue, the, yeah, the chicken. I've done that. It's different than a fucking. But that has a taste open. too. Also. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But and it's, it's different not shit. Than, it's not like open a taste pussy. like that. It's like. So you think you think open pussies different slash worse than open asshole? It's not. Uh, I never like. I've never done like a fucking gaping butthole. <laughs> never, I've never, I've never seen like a straight up gape, like a like a porn gaping bottle. <laughs> I've seen a gaping pussy before. <laughs> I think pussy's weirder. I, I think if, if you're talking about aesthetically, what I would rather look at or see during porn, pussies, open pussies, oh, I don't like at all. <laughs> I do not like up close and up, up close pussies. Like in porn, where they're like spreading things and zooming in I'm like no <laughs> it looks cute from the outside but it's all tucked in and you know and then it yeah, opens yeah, up gross zoom in on that guy's dick <laughs> <laughs> show me that guy's balls I think when they open it up it's like ah ooh. you know what it's like you know what it's really like is the alien an alien when his mouth opens and then another mouth yeah, comes yeah. out it's like there's the thing oh there's the alien there's the pussy and then you open it up and it's like what Oh, there's another pussy? Yeah, basically, <laughs> there's a couple holes and a bunch of folds How and a many bunch vaginas of lips. Are there? <laughs> Which one do I fuck? <laughs> Which one am I supposed to fuck, guys? Imagine that I'm dad, dad. I'm having sex. Which pussy do I fuck? <laughs> it's like what, dude? That's an asshole. <laughs> no, 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 that's the third one. There's that's a bunch going on down there. Stop being an idiot. Dad. I, you know, there are two pussies. You've I seen gotta moms. be honest. <laughs> a gaping pussy, John. That girl, she was doing work. Cause I feel like a, I feel like even an asshole. 
Even if you just do a little bit of anal sex. Is our new Mean Girls clip? <laughs> <laughs> if you do, if you do what anal. What do you think about gaping pussy? <laughs> <laughs> what if we release this as a clip Should we and do completely... tasteful nudes? Does your pussy gape? <laughs> <laughs> what if we release this as a clip and bleep everything? <laughs> to the point that people don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> and then when they find out that it, the, what we're saying the whole time is gaping pussy. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. I actually. knew they were a sex podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I think that if you fuck someone in the ass, you'll get a little bit of of agape. To fuck a pussy to the point that it's wide open, I feel like you are putting a hurting on that, bro. You are beating that pussy up. That's mashed potatoes, bro. <laughs> That's like, because that shit, the whole point is that you, I mean, you could pop a baby out of that thing and it closes back up. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I, think, I think you're doing it right, dog. That thing is. Oh, you broke your dog. Uh, your your dog habit. I haven't. Yeah. I haven't heard dog in like two weeks. I said it a few times this weekend, and I was. I was like, by the way, I'm saying dog a little bit. <laughs> and then maybe like I, I don't know scared. if he's gonna revive I was it. Embarrassed later on my friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Helix Sleep. It's a premium mattress brand that delivers tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. Everybody is unique, and everybody sleeps differently. Just look at John. I mean, John sleeps. Sometimes he's hibernating like a bear. Sometimes it sounds like there's a chainsaw tucked in. Sometimes he uh, is. Sometimes I'm a delicate little angel. Sometimes a delicate angel. I don't know about that. I don't think you've ever been a delicate. Oh. Sometimes you're covered in sweat. Sometimes you're covered in chocolate. Sometimes you're covered in, in Lord knows what because you're not finding the right bed for you. You got to find uh, exactly what mattress fits you by going to helixsleep.com. Uh, slash kfc and you take the sleep quiz and it'll tell you in just under two minutes it'll tell you here's what mattress you need based on do you sleep on your side or on your back or on your stomach are you a light sleeper or a heavy sleeper do you like it cold do you like it hot all these things bam here you go i sleep on my side i like it a little more firm because of my back and i like to stay cool so the helix twilight is perfect for me that's what i sleep on when i'm at home and i cannot recommend it enough go to helixsleep.com slash kfc they're offering up to 200 dollars off uh, any mattress orders plus two free pillows that's helixsleep.com slash kfc up to 200 dollars off mattress orders plus two free pillows Somebody got a nose job and started serving looks on Instagram. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Uh, look at these pictures here, girl. Look at this. I mean, holy fucking. Like, let's not posing. let's not pretend so, like like we didn't recognize this. Come on. Like, who who Woo! among us didn't stumble upon the J Nix one four five whatever your handle is? Is that it? Four four one four five. J Nix, oh, this is J Nix. The, 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 the J Nix picks. Whoa, the J Nix picks. We need to do the, the a J Nix. The one I left in particular is like, I'm too uh, fucking cool to even be. Totally. Like, like look, it's, it is one of those body language things. She's like, I am over here in the pretty oh, section. Thank you. Making very much. me take it's these. It's funny because like on Instagram, like I, all I see are like my my like USC friends yeah, and all that. So I, I forget, shit. you know, like. Who I am, and that you know, I'm I'm a barstool person. <laughs> My favorite is the second one, where she's like, "Let's do a goofy one." She's like, "I'm gonna do the exact same one. <laughs> I'm gonna serve the exact same." See, I actually get much. jealous though of hell yeah of like. The ability. Yes, those are great pictures. I wish I could pose. Cool. Can we see no. my story too? No, what was oh, that? I'm serving in that. <laughs> I'm serving in that. No, <laughs> I'm like, still up or like I get jealous of my friends who have like no followers because you can just be you on your fucking thing. Definitely. Not this fucking or perception you, you can, of me. You can like, be like, you. You want to be a good person? You want to try and be hot in a picture? Whatever. It's just your friends. We'll gas you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying like you can either be yourself straight up, or you can fuck around and try to be something you're not. And right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. In my, I'm like, am I? Should I? Should I do this? Should I do that? Can I? You know, can I wear my jacket? Should I, well, then I'm inside. I'll look like an asshole. If I have my jacket on. I should take my jacket off. I, who fucking cares? How, how big should I smile? Should I put my thumb up? Should I, should I smile? How, I, yeah. how much am I gonna try and cover my insecurities with this picture? Like, can, can I just take a goddamn motherfucking picture and then apparently jackie doesn't feel any of that <laughs> she's just like i'm mm. going for this i'm going for zoolander watch out <laughs> Not a nose job. Yo. <laughs> gonna, totally i'm surprised you weren't like look here look here look, i actually uh, uh, when you and pa when you and pals were fighting yesterday and you were like arguing about the microphone i was like oh the profile looks good really yeah yeah, yeah the profile is it but man the j nicks picks 
I, I mean, now I'm gonna feel weird about all my Instagrams. Huh? Oh, shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> now you, you have to do Jay Nick's picks. Jay Nick's picks. I like that. Yeah. So Wait, are we've said it ten me? times. Now. Uh, yeah, I know. I didn't really register. That's great. Do, are, are, is it gonna be me uh, stunting, like stunting on the ground? Like, yeah, you should always be stunting. Yeah. Okay. Make sure yeah. you're always stunting. Okay. Stunting always, or always. funny or whatever, but every week you could be like, check out the Jay Nick's picks. I've decided I'm gonna be more active on Instagram in general. Hell yeah. You know what? We're almost at the year end. So, let's go through it. Did we get in any fights? No. Did you do? No, let's say this for next close. one. Tico and I close. Okay. Let's say this for the next one. Yeah. For the next episode. Next episode. Like okay. okay. We, we, we will. We will do a full Jackie year end wrap up. Okay. Okay, Jackie. The jacked up, jacked up. Of a year, year, year end. End. Wrapped up. Jacked up, wrapped up. Jacked up, wrapped up. Um, okay, we right. will give you. We'll go old school. We'll do. Um, Three minutes on the clock? Ugh, I hate that. No. You need more time, too. I can't wrap up a whole year in three minutes. Five minutes on the clock? How about we just do the no clock the time? doesn't matter. The, okay, okay. It's but even, like, even the thought that, that it's, it's counting never down. Matter. Three minutes on the clock. Jacked up! Um, okay, my Start year... Start from the beginning. Okay, so I started the year, say, with some resolutions. And the mm. resolutions were as follows... It was, what was it? Mafia. Join the mafia. Get in more street fights. Do, do more drugs, specifically cocaine. <laughs> and I, chess or something like that. <laughs> chess? <laughs> was, I, mean, I just want to throw in like a hobby in there or something like that. I don't okay. know if it was chess. I think it was chess. Yeah. And I think it was yeah. chess. It was just some kind of hobby. Okay. Um, she would know. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which I didn't I take up chess, you. but I did take up reading, as we know. Okay. So reading as, counts. As we know? Well, uh, you weren't here for yeah, that. She talked about she's I big she, reader now. She's a huge reader. I read like, one book. She read a book. How many books? I read a book. She read one book. book. A book. One a book. book. It was but one of those. I'm, I'm eight pages into the, my second book. There you go. Okay. So you stopped after eight pages is a weird time to stop. Well, was like, it a chapter break? Yeah, I, 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 I after eight pages I fall asleep every time on the dot. Eight pages. <laughs> it takes I also me. told her I was like, those are like romance novels that don't count because you can read them in like a day. And she was like, eh, it took me a month. <laughs> <laughs> it took me like two years. Um, um, street fights. I didn't get into any street fights, but Tigo and I almost got into. That is true. You did have you did have like a dust. You had, you had some beef. And and she she continues to threaten me every time so mm -hmm. I, I came close there mm -hmm. mafia i didn't really join the mafia Mafia's um tough. drugs that was a harder one to get into. that was a harder yeah. one but i did try every so time i saw somebody club. with like a mafia ring type thing i would ask about it and i would say are you part of the mafia can i get an in and they said no every time <laughs> and you then, tried. what about the dude to do what? What about the deal? Yeah, he's a big mobster. Oh. And he definitely wants to take you on a date. Yeah, he's a big fan of yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, and then drugs. Nobody fucking offers me drugs. Well, you said, I'm re I'm rewatching it right now. Uh, you said, yeah, and it was chess, by the way. You're right. Yeah. Um, you were like, the pro you don't really want to do drugs. It's more that you want to be hot want enough to get off of drugs. Hot enough to get off so of drugs. Yes, exactly. Nose nice job. I, I don't think like it it made enough of a difference in other people were there and i also like i can't even do the drugs why because the nose so it never made knows that. Nose job yeah so she's got to wait you never so do drugs to, you have to wait i have to wait but i also just it's just not my thing i'm just not i'm just not for no, that and i also don't want to screw up the nose i just saw a tear a video i showed of this girl with the collapsed nose girl. oh i saw that Brutal. that's horrifying Brutal. yeah you can um, gum it in you know there's other ways yeah yeah, yeah exactly you okay crack. okay but um you can, you can smoke it what now you can smoke it you smoke, yeah smoke crack yeah um also you know nick's picks you're starting to serve looks a little bit so maybe right now you're starting to get hot enough to get the drugs yeah 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 yeah. yeah. and it's really just what you want the offer and then I you're saw the say offer no. but yeah. like i did get offered a few times i got offered by a lot of fans which um but it was kind of like a pity offer. Like they would be like, I don't actually have drugs. Yeah. Um, okay. You guys didn't actually have to set off the alarm. <laughs> um, okay. But, but yeah. So like, I guess like, I wish I could, you know, give a more wild rundown, but okay, I just uh, didn't. Wait, I, let's back up. I think I end, aimed a little bit too high. At the end of last year, uh, for the season two or three premiere, we were talking about fucking a dad. Did that happen? I didn't fuck any dads. Um, Boy, you know these people, they all make resolutions and they never stick never to it. Never sticks to it. It's like, I'm I gonna know. go to the gym. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, but don't go to the gym. I'm, I'm working reading. on new resolutions and they're much more attainable. Yeah. Like the such as? 
Um, first one. Should I look? Oh, you have yeah, yeah, you have a yeah. list. No, I don't have like a full list. I just like have start. I'm starting a list. Yeah, well, that's a list. Um, then. More metal detectors. I think. <laughs> there it is. Every time. Uh, I think what does that mean, Jacqueline? I, I I like metal detectors on the beach is something that is so underrated. It's like I I think that that would be a fantastic hobby. Nobody's mm-hmm. taking that up. It's like nobody else. That's like that would be my Strictly thing and my thing men. only. Strictly old men. They're kind of gatekeeping it right now. I think, <laughs> like, I'm. Gonna, I want to make it cool. I want to make it fun. I feel like that'd be so fun. Like, who knows what I could find in the sand? <laughs> you know, I want more of that. I want more metal. I'm, so, like, so you're I you're said, in it. You're in it for the for the for the treasure, or you're in it for like the activity for the, for, for the thrill. The thrill. The thrill of the metal. I, I think you could be uh, an online presence, like. If you were like the hot chick who metal detects, who metal detects? that'd be very funny. Yeah, if I you know. were walking around the beach, insta thotting it up, and you have like the headset on, and you're strapped into the fucking. Oh thing. my god, I'm getting chills just thinking about <laughs> metal detecting right now. That sounds so fun. Oh, what if that's your OnlyFans? Yeah, I don't know if like I can make that very sexy though. I mean, it's very you know you just don't wear a lot of clothes on the beach. And yeah, it's yeah, sexy, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Okay, I'll try that. Um, more Jello. I just okay. don't give. I just don't give enough. Uh, Jello is kind of underrated. Time to Jello. I, I actually I don't. disagree. I, I'm not, I don't disagree. Uh, I agree to an extent. I like Jello pudding. Pudding. I was gonna say pudding is Jello where it's pudding at. with a little whipped yes. cream on top. Yep. Yeah. I was also gonna say whipped cream just for the um, for the Jello as well. Yeah. For, the, for the gelatin, you can do you can what do whipped cream either way. Stop what it. I don't like that. He's gonna do it again. No. He's gonna do it again. He's um, gonna do it again. Also, hey, it's gotta be. You want some Jello pudding with whipped cream? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking uh, chocolate pudding, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. vanilla but pudding. But with is, with the vanilla disgust- swirl in it. Uh, that feels mm-hmm. like there's just cum in your pudding. <laughs> but you want you want gelatin. Oh uh, yeah, I just I just like um, blue Jello. Okay. I like. I think when it's in my mouth. It's kind of like, what is that? Yeah, that, that texture is like, whoa. And I like now, that. Now, are we talking like jello shots or you want to just have jello? Jello. J E L O. I oh. want to incorporate it into my diet more. Got it. Um, Zero calories, right? Or something like that? What? It's like no calories. It's like no calories. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about like sugar and everything like that. Stand in front of microwaves less. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure. On Stand mic- in front of microwaves less. <laughs> oh, is that bad for you? Like the vibes, like the uh-huh. waves? Uh-huh. I mean, that's How up. often do you stand in front of microwaves? A lot. I think, yeah. that's, I think that's made it's up. It's fun to right? watch. What? That's not a real thing, is it? Yeah, I think it's made up. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, there's no way. It's that something oh. people you. worry about, but it doesn't hurt you at all. Yeah. Okay, well then scratch that off. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I definitely put my wave on and go do something for a minute or two. And yeah, then come yeah, back yeah. when it peeps. You stand there and No, watch I like it. to watch stuff rise. Do you have one spin? Stuff rise? Yeah. Oh, you're like rise cooking and spin. things in there. Yeah. What are you no, rising? Like it's like, I don't know, if I make like oatmeal or something. Just to bubble up. If you put like hot chocolate in there, it'll rise in the cup. Yeah. What? Like if I make hot chocolate, it yeah. Up. You ever put a phone in there? No. Try it. Pretty fun. I'm not gonna yeah. do that. It's interesting. You ever put a CD really? in there? I did it in high school. I thought it was like like I, in high school when I was still finding out who I was, mm-hmm. and um, I went through my <laughs> phase of like be destructive for laughs, <laughs> um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm still pretty heavily in that phase. If you put uh, a knife, uh, a compact disc CD, or a phone in a microwave. Fireworks, baby. Yeah, I put a Kyocera phone that like it spun like mm-hmm. that. Um, the, like the keyhole one that was shaped like a keyhole. Um, I don't know if it was shaped like a keyhole, but it was. I, I actually I've often looked for because that's the first one I ever sent a dick pic on too. Um, I've looked to see what happens, and well, you gotta you can't do it in this kind of microwave. You have the dick fucking fuck. light on, you dummy. What an asshole, dude. Um, but it like it just got like one though the Kyocera I did it was just like one shot like one lightning bolt. Shot bow. Yeah, that was it. Is it? Isn't it like you're not supposed to put like forks in there? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, so no, no, no silver. Ugh. No. Yo, people like this are goddamn animals, bro. Like, cut your nails if you're gonna be doing videos. Ugh, totally gross. Totally fucking gross. Oh wow. No, that gross. didn't happen to mine. That's super. Mine dangerous. was just like one shock, and it didn't work anymore. Jackie, it did not, not go home and do this. Although I guess I, I took it out after like one second. He might, I, he might have left it in here for a long, long, mm-hmm, long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and else? then uh, I'm working on the rest. Such as I work. Oh, you're working on making the oh, rest. On, on making the rest. Okay. Um, all right. Good stuff. So, um, nose job, survivor. Yeah. Um, live show appearances. I wanted like, to get to 50k followers. Didn't make that. Oh, what are we at? 
Have you attempted? No. I was going to say, you don't that's do why, any social that's media. Another one is, I'm going to... It, is, I'm it gonna, is wild that you don't do social media. It's I know. Crazy. I just hate You're it so, so good much. At it. 43. Yeah. I hate it more than you, you do. I promise you that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to... This How year, good, I'm actually like, going to do more. You were doing more. the nose job, though. Everybody loved those videos. I know, and, but like I don't have time now. It took, it's, it's like... It's part of your job. What? It's part of your job. Well, technically... It's not. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Not like that, but like in my contract, you know, it's like. Oh, okay. Contract. But it's like, it's like, again, like you want me to edit? I'll edit. And I. I want you to do both. I want, I want Nick's picks. But, but then I have to have like a reason, you know? You have There's plenty of reasons. Like, like as funny as that Instagram story was where you're like, what's the worst that could happen? He stole all our packages. Yeah. That could have been a video. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these things that we talk about could be a video. Okay, Jan one. Yeah, how about this? Jan one, I'll do a video Let, a day. Let's make a, a no. That that's, that's no, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay. That's too crazy. Okay, <laughs> how about uh, one video per week? You can pick from either episode. You have to react to something we said. Where you could be like, let me clarify what they were saying. They're so stupid. Here's the real story. Or like, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant. You have or two episodes to pick one story. It could be something that doesn't even involve you, and you have your own opinion. Which, by the way, I encourage you to speak up during the show. But if you're not going to do that, yeah, do your we, own video. Yeah, I get scared. Ready, I don't like speaking opinions. up during the show anymore because I have to edit it and hearing myself edit. Well, you're gonna have to get over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Definitely have to get over. I, I, I completely okay. understand because yeah. I would feel the same. That's why I'm not an editor. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's why I just never learned how to edit. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. have to get over that though because you're too good on the mic. So. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Thank One you. One video per week. Okay. So that means you have to make 52 videos this year. Okay. Wait, if I miss a week, can I? You can, can I double make up? I can double up. Yep. And but can I be just like anything? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. You just watch White Lotus. You could have done reviews of that sure. stuff. Like, yeah. sure. People love you. They want to hear your dumb opinions. No, they don't. Also, you know what you could do? You could do Nick's picks, but it's P I C S and also P I C K S. And you can be like, here's the show that I'm watching. This is one of my picks. You could do like a gambling pick, oh. uh, an entertainment pick, and a, um, I don't know, whatever other type of pick you can make. And then it's also. You also post it with your serving looks. Okay. So it's picks, picks. Okay. okay. I got another um, thirst trap coming up. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. It's already taken or you're going to an event where you're Yeah, wait, I was going to say, what do you mean? You no, already have already it in taken. the holster? What? Let's, re let's review your thirst trap. Well, I actually already, well, I have a few options. Okay, Can let's I... put them on the big screen and, we'll, and we will no, discuss No, 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 no. Well, let me, let me see. Hold on. This will be like that. Oh, well, what the what story? Question. So we'll, we will, gonna... uh, we'll, we'll be like, this is the one. I don't think I can do it. Come on! It's, it's too hard. The, if you I'm can't even do it to us, how are you going to do it to the yeah, rest of the world? Right, because then I just put it out there. I don't have to see your guys' faces. <laughs> now I'm going to think of you. Let me, let me review. Let me all later. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Once a week is Nick's picks. Once a week video. Okay. Okay. And, and Twitter's done. I'm done with Twitter. Twitter, yeah. Twitter you're, it's probably smart to not focus much time on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna that's do probably Twitter. a good idea. If I'll Elon do. turns things around, I'll let you know. But right now, it's not a good idea to focus. Your okay. Did you see Twitter. the thing where like they're go you're gonna need to like be able to give you like your geotags and stuff like that? No, nah, what was that? Oh, uh, it's uh, uh so they they have a plan. Like, if I pull up, and, and I, yeah, who knows how real this is and all this stuff. Um, geotags mean like everyone will know who you are. It is. Uh, I, I just I follow someone who quotes me and it was like I'm gonna be honest like this feels like a deal breaker. Um, new Twitter has a plan to force you to opt in to personalize ads to continue using the app, um, and it's not just personalized ads that Twitter plans to require. The company is also considering forcing users to share their location, let Twitter share their data with its business partners, mm -hmm. and use contact data, phone numbers, and two-factor authentication for ad targeting purposes. The only thing is, I think that's one of those things that like everyone's already doing that shit anyway. Well, but they Twitter got in trouble for doing and it without your without your consent. Right. So now you have to opt into it. But opting in feels like a. I know, but are you really not gonna? I don't know. I kind of hate Twitter. <laughs> I know, but will you stop it? I don't know. We'll see. I, I I'll definitely consider it. I I want. But I also um, don't think that'll happen. Like, I want. I, I pitched his uh, the idea to Elon of of Twitter tiers with different ages. Yeah, I didn't like that. I don't want. I, I like that. I, well, I like knowing what the use up to. Yeah, but you so you can you can opt into it. Yeah, okay, I see. I, see. I don't want to. I don't want to be fucking. I, I was arguing with like high school kids today, or <laughs> were talking shit to me. That's the you, you like, oh, take the fuck. Take the Tyler thing. I'm not. I'm, I'm not here to argue. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, it depends <laughs> on how you use Twitter. <laughs> but I, I I don't want anybody under 25, you know, using. 
or it should just be like separated. So it's like, if I want to dive in there, I can go see what the youth are talking about. But if I'm, if like, cause that way, if something happens and all of my tears are talking about it, it's like, I don't want to, I don't give a fuck what the 15 year olds think about like Will Smith getting slapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look at the adults, you know? But then if it's like, oh, this rapper, like something happened, let me find out what the youths did. So you have to put a fucking, uh, you have to put your ID out first of all, so we get your your age, which that would weed out ninety percent of people on Twitter because they're all anonymous assholes. But you got to put put your real name on it, your real age on it, and then I can weed out the children, so I don't have to fight with fucking ten year olds. <laughs> uh, all right, interview time with Tom Papa. We're talking about that bread. Got to get the, that bag of bread. You got to get make what's that? Let's get this bread. Talking about literally sourdough loaves with Tom Papa. Hey, Prime members, a.k.a. hey, the whole world, because who doesn't have Prime at this point? Uh, everybody has Prime, but you think about it just when you're uh, getting your shipping done or you're watching uh, television and, and streaming uh, TV and stuff. But now uh, Amazon is getting into the podcast game. With Amazon Music, you can now listen to KFC Radio ad-free. You download the Amazon Music app, you can ac get access to the largest catalog of ad-free top podcasts it's now included free with prime so visit amazon.com slash kfc radio avoid all the ads which is kind of weird this is like this is like this is like uh, back to the future type shit it's like are you even gonna hear this ad yeah right. <laughs> you know it's like so if you're listening on a regular thing you're gonna hear this ad and know that you could jump over to amazon music and never even hear this ad because they will uh, they remove all of the ads from the podcast. All the content stays the same. You can listen to your favorite Barstool shows on the go, offline, wherever life takes you. Start listening ad-free by visiting Amazon.com slash KFC Radio. That's Amazon.com slash KFC Radio. <laughs> Sorry, man. I was a kid the first time my parents went out and I could watch my younger sisters. Uh, they let me, you know, be the babysitter. Mm -hmm. I was probably, I don't know, 13, 12, 13. This is in New York? In uh, New Jersey. Jersey. I grew up in Jersey. And uh, I was in the, in, I was inside watching TV. It was like, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night. And I heard like the garage door opening, like, you know, those old school, like yeah, pull up yeah, yeah. garage mm -hmm. door. And it was like kind of going kind of slowly. And I heard some knocking and I just heard like some scuffling. I was like, oh shit. And I grabbed a bat and I didn't know what to do. So I turned the TV up really loud. Kevin and McAllister style and here. He was a little Home Alone-ish. Yeah. And started a conversation with myself. I was like, what do you want to watch? I don't know. What's on? This is legitimately is, Kevin McAllister. What time is Love Boat on? <laughs> and I had this whole conversation. And then I heard something in the backyard. And I, I just sat there with the bat. I was just like freaking out. And my parents came home like an hour later and found me in the same position. And they're like, why is the garage door open? And why is our car uh, car door open? They opened up the car door and like inside it out one of the boots uh, to see a leather boot where there was anything. Yeah. So they were on their way in. They were scrambling. Shit. And uh, so my you acting you skills. Them off? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you just yeah. set the, his head on fire with a blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a car bro I had a car broken into once and they they just stole I don't even know what they stole. They stole I, I had a pair of like Supreme Nike sneakers, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And like but my car's such a mess, like I couldn't yeah. even tell what they stole. In fact I drove my car around for like days before I ever realized that it, <laughs> that it got broken stolen. into. <laughs> and the only reason I realized it got broken into was because I opened my center console and they had left like four burner phones in my in my center console. Oh, you they gave you something. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck do all these burners come from? And I, I went in the back and I was like looking through again. I mean, it was just loaded of shit. Right. And it was like it was like the summer, so like I was you know traveling to the beach a lot, and I was living yeah. in Boston, and I like I don't know, I just like I was dumping shit and I had coolers, and all kinds of shit. <laughs> and I was like looking, I was like, I don't even know what's back here to know if anything's missing. Yeah. But I had that one right. pair of sneakers I knew about; those were gone. Uh, yeah. Like in the box still. I I'd never worn them. I had a friend that had a car like that where he he was. He had a uh, soda addiction, and he would buy a two liter of Coke every day, and just like get high and drink this two liter. And, and, and then and eventually, they like filled up his car. Like they, he would just like throw them in the car, thinking he was gonna recycle, but never did. And eventually, it looked like like a gumball machine. Like he was sitting inside with all these plastic. You want that one? Yeah. You start like squeezing yourself out so you can shut the door real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content.
uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be passed. That's it.